Hey guys, what is up the Neocubus here? Welcome to episode 27. This is going to be my three hour special for 300,000 subscribers. Again, thank you guys so, so much. This is going to be a world download in the first line and second line of the description for both PC and Bedrock versions. So I think the first order of business for this three hour series is making this uh, cliff house a little bit better because we've been here longer than uh, I care to admit. And now we don't have any spr- oh, do we have spruce? I don't think we have spruce, but we have dark oak. So we're going to convert this floor from uh, the terrible mossy cobblestone we originally chose to uh, a beautiful variant of uh, wood. And uh, I think it'll be good to have more than one wood color in here. It'll also spice things up a bit. But this mossy cobblestone looks absolutely terrible. So let's get this fixed. Okay, much, much better. Um, I was not a fan of that, and so many people told me to switch it, and it took this long, but we finally got it switched. So you guys are probably wondering, you know, what's the plan for this three hour movie? And uh, I think the beauty of it is I don't have a plan, but I do have a few things I want to accomplish, okay? I want to try to get some more Endermen, some more Ender Pearls, so that we can try to find the stronghold for this world. Um, another thing I want to do, and I'm going to do it off the bat, is I kind of want to explore a new part of the world. So I'm going to go in the nether. And we're gonna make, I know it's loud, I know it's loud, I'm sorry. We're gonna try to find some way, hopefully pigmen aren't aggroed on us at this point. I really don't think they are. Are they? No, good, because there's so many that if they were, we'd be a little bit, uh, we'd be a little bit hosed there. Um, I think what I want to do is make a um, sort of path off of this castle somewhere. Now, uh, to do this, I'm going to have to put my inventory up as if I die with all this stuff. Like in my stream series, I'm going to be very upset. So if you guys don't know, I actually started live streaming. And uh, I just I have a separate world for it. And honestly, I, uh, I had some really great tools, right? And uh, stupid me decided to uh, mess up and fall in the lava. So I fell in the lava and lost literally everything I had. It was one of the worst experiences of my entire life. Uh, let me go grab some more cobblestone from the overworld because I want to make this path out of cobble So you guys won't have to see it, but I'll be right back. Okay, we're back in the nether uh, We've got a good bit of cobblestone here, and we're just gonna start uh, trucking on so I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go um, We can see there's a little bit of land over there But I really want to travel like probably 500 blocks in the nether now I'm not sure if I want to make this path three wide or if I want to make it one wide. I think three wide is going to be a little bit better for future proofing because we're probably going to want to make it three wide at some point. Now of course this is not a project I'm going to show on camera. Uh, dig or drilling this out is not going to be the most fun in the world. But hey, that's what I signed up for. I signed up for making good content for you guys and I want to be able to thank you guys for 300,000 subs so we're going to have an awesome three hour special. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll meet you guys when I'm over near uh, that thingy. Already off the bat, we're dying. We're gonna lose all of our armor. A gas has uh, shot me off of this thing, so that's absolutely great. All this armor is going in the trash, and uh, that's that's just great. And all my cobblestone. <sighs> I guess that's a uh, that's that's one way to start it. <laughs> that's a uh, you know it brings me it brings me memories from when I just did that and died and lost all my stuff. I didn't lose all of my cobblestone, but I lost a really good chunk. Like, that gas spawned out of nowhere. I had just started building. I had just, like, cut off the camera. And uh, all of a sudden, I hear that, you know, your, your typical gas sound. And uh, I died. So that's terrible. <laughs> the first uh, three minutes of the episode, but hey, we'll be able to get some armor back. We'll be able to get back some good armor. We have a mob spawner, which means... Uh, we're not really strapped for XP. You know, on the stream world, we are strapped for XP, but here, I wouldn't say uh, I'm too worried about it. Uh, we have a ton of diamonds. Well, only 19 now, so I guess I'll have to go back to the house anyways to make a full set of armor. But I'm going to be sure to have a full set of armor at all points because the nether, I've, uh, as I've sort of uh, learned, very dangerous. We have 48 obsidian in there. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to take like all my cobble, but I mean, I don't know. I just don't want to lose it all. You know? Okay, well, we'll go back up here and we'll get some stuff to make the rest of the armor. We still just need to make a chest plate, so just eight pieces. Okay, let's hop in here and uh, let's grab. Now, I'm sorry that this uh, took a little bit to get out for you guys. It's just because I moved and then I already had a pre recorded episode, so this one I'm recording live. Hopefully, it doesn't come out too late because I know the size of it is going to be absolutely enormous, just like the file size. 
So YouTube's gonna take a while to process it, upload it. It's gonna take like three hours or four hours to render just because of the length. But uh, hopefully it comes out at a decent hour. It's 12 o'clock or 12 p.m. right now. So I'm hoping that it's not too, too long. But at the same time, I think it'll be okay if it... It's so annoying how it's so loud. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay as long as uh, it doesn't come out too late. But yeah, that's the gas that uh, sort of wrecked us. <laughs> it, it spawned like literally right there. Like it's not like I, I didn't look before I was building. It just spawned so close. So uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna try to build this. I hope I don't die. Maybe I should take all my armor off. That's probably a good idea. I don't know why I had my armor on. I always forget to take it off, no matter what I'm doing. And look at that island of Pigmen. Because, you know, when you open a chest, it's, you don't see it. So I just, my brain's just like, yep, it just must not be there. So we'll put up all but, like, a few stacks. That way, if we die, I, I should say when we die. I feel like we're going to die a lot doing this. But uh, a special thing about gas is no matter how far away they are, and this is from my fans, you know, the fan info from the comments, you guys said that no, no matter how far away a gas is, it always sounds like it's right next to you. And uh, I think that's 100% true, because it's absolutely loud as heck. That's a fat glowstone pocket. Look at that. Like, the other ones are like that, maybe that, maybe that. That's a big one. But then this one's just like, dude, <laughs> that's a big old pocket. Okay, well, I'm going to continue doing this off camera. I'm going to try to reach that island uh, over there. And then, uh, well, I'm not really sure. But we're just going to keep going this way. So I'm not exactly sure how to go about this. I want to either stay on this path or I want to be able to go over there. But if I go over there, it's going to be a little bit easier for me as I don't have to make this path over the lava and risk losing all my stuff again. So I'm trying to decide... I think I'm just gonna go over here once I'm over the land and see if it's uh, far enough in the direction that I'm headed right here for me to go in. Um, I guess we'll find out in just a second. Uh, yeah, let's see, because I don't know how far over this way it goes. I know it obviously goes over there a little bit, but like, see over here, it doesn't really, yeah, see, it sort of curves inwards and it doesn't uh, continue going this way. But once we get to right there, we'll be able to tunnel through it and hopefully get a good distance, so. Yeah, something like that. Obviously, I need to go get more cobblestone. I do not have near enough to get all the way over there, but that was the plan. Uh, luckily, I didn't get shot off this time by a ghast, which is, you know, never fun. But, uh, yeah, I really am excited for this episode. I hope it turns out to be absolutely incredible for you guys. I want to just sort of go to a new area and see if I can't discover something else in the world. But, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't. Okay. I'm going to get some more stuff. I'm also going to make this three wide up until this point. And I'll catch you guys back on camera after I make it three wide until that point. I don't want to bring my pickaxe out here, so I sort of decided to break this by hand. And you know what? I'm satisfied. Now, I know that ideally this should be made out of half slabs on the bottom slab just because, well, pigmen can sort of spawn on it. But I'm not worried about them as long as I don't aggro them like before and start to pigmen more, which we also started on our stream world. And uh, they've wrecked us many times, so hopefully I don't start up that war again. I think we're at a treaty sort of period in uh, our fighting. But we're getting really, really close. I figured I'd come back on camera and show you what I'm doing. So I've just been building like this for a good bit. Um, obviously, once we get to that area where we can actually drill through the nether, that's going to be so much better. Just because this does take a good bit of time. Um, and I'm also worried that, well, there was a couple of gas. I'm not sure where they went. They seem to be coming and going. I'm not sure if they spawn and then, like, despawn really quickly if they have a, a large... I'm not really sure. But they appear to be just sort of, like, spawning and then going away. But yeah, we're almost to the point. See, I can talk, talk my way through it without making it boring. So we're almost to that point. And then after that, all we've got to do is just make it to uh, that area over there. Hopefully stop that lava flow, and then, uh, yeah, we should be Gucci. So let me get over here, uh, back to the house. I'm going to need to get, like, some food because I'm really running low and uh, some more cobble. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back on the camera after I've made a little bit more progress. Now, if I'm not mistaken, every block you travel in the nether is seven blocks in the overworld. So we should end up a good bit distance away. I didn't mean a good bit. We should end up a good distance away from uh, our home base, and that's the goal. 
Um, I know we have that railroad and stuff. We may make a rail onto this, and we never really finished the railroad, but to be fair, we never have really gone over there. And, oh, I gotta do it again. It's so satisfying, yet so annoying at the same time. I'm really not a fan of it. Now, again, guys, I'm not gonna record this whole thing, so don't, like, click away from the video because you think I'm gonna end up building a highway until I get over there. Um, that's definitely something I'm gonna cut out, so watch me do it. I feel weird because somehow gravel has made it to the nether, and I absolutely despise it. And I'm not sure why they chose to add it, and I'm also not sure why gas are so loud. I don't know why they do that, like, programming-wise. Like, even though they're so far away, um, if I turned hostile creatures all the way off, they'd be, I mean, everything else would be too quiet. Everything else is perfectly balanced, but why they gotta ruin my audio with these, with these weird sleeping cat noises, huh? Yeah, I, yeah, they really are sleep- oh! They're made from Mojang- or, uh, Mojang's. Uh, Notch's cat, when he was asleep, or she was asleep, I don't know what gender the cat was, but the cat basically was asleep, Notch filmed it, he, uh, recorded the sound, he turned it backwards and pitch shifted it, and he, he ended up with a ghast. But yeah, we're getting really, really close to finally being complete. Once we get over to, like, that lava area, I'm not sure how to go about that, so it should be interesting to film. <clears throat> I hope that I don't die when I do it. That would not be ideal. But if it has to happen, it'll happen, and uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. I think the best way is going to be stopping it at the source up there. Um, that's probably going to be the absolute best way. Now, hopefully this is not just a little thin piece of netherrack when we get over there. I'm hoping that it's like a really, really big, like, land area so we can just make a big old tunnel through it. But things don't always work out how you want in life. You'll learn that. But we'll get close, we'll get close. Not that I'm like super old and have a ton of wisdom, but that is some wisdom that I've learned thus far in my 20 years on this earth. Okay, let me get... Oh, well, I think we have enough stuff. I don't really know. I wanted to cut the recording, but at the same time, if I keep cutting the recording like that, having a three-hour movie is going to take like seven, eight, nine hours to record. And while that'd be fine, it also means that you guys don't get content uh, for a whole day. So we'll just have to see. This may not even be uploaded Friday, which would be the 21st. It may be uploaded the 22nd. I don't know. You guys will just have to see. I would not like to do that, but I don't know. It's just, it's a huge, okay, so we're getting really close. It's just a huge, uh, it's going to be a huge video. Okay, so we'll have to stop it like right there. This is kind of fun. Uh, we'll get up over to the actual uh, area over there. We'll go block it off. And hopefully that stops all of our troubles. Um, knowing knowing the nether, it probably won't. It'll probably just cause more things to happen. So we'll sort of see how everything plays out. But we'll keep this. And uh, there's a few things over here I'd want to get. Like, oh yeah. See, like, like, look at this glowstone. This is a fat pocket and... See, that gas is so annoying. Yeah, go ahead, dude. But this... Do you see that? Do you see how much glowstone that is? And if the gas shoots it, I'm going to be very upset. You can hear the wind howling in the... There's so much wind right now, I can hear it like howling. Okay, well let me go back, let me get a few things like uh, our armor and a uh, pickaxe. Because we have this built and I'm not really worried that we're going to die anymore. Uh, wow, this already is huge, but yeah, let me get back real quick. I still, I just can't get over how big that pocket is. I keep running around and I see that on the ceiling. Maybe it's like a triple spawn in them, like one, two, and three. I'm not really sure, but that thing is huge. Now, this stuff that we have in our inventory is armor, especially the Neo Drill. If I were to lose that stuff, the Neo Destoy or, <laughs> or something, if I were to lose that stuff, I'd be a very, very upset man. I wasn't too upset about losing the armor because we already lost it once, but... I don't know. If I lose all this stuff, it's going to really, really uh, make this hard for me. But hopefully we don't. I don't think we will. But it really kills you when you have all this good, like, armor and stuff. And then just, like, one ghast or one pigment just, like, messes up your whole day. It's, like, absolutely terrible. I'm really tempted to hit them because I don't like them. But I feel like that's a bad idea to hit them. But, uh, yeah. We're almost there to the glowstone, so I won't cut it. But we need to stop that at the source, and if we have enough cobble to get up there, we can also just mine enough netherrack to get up there as well. No, it's not hard either way. Like, I can mine netherrack at a rate that's just absolutely uncanny. I used to be able to mine it faster. Well, no, I couldn't actually mine it faster. I was going to say, because on my stream world, I had efficiency 4 on a pick, but then that uh, sort of went away. And we'll go ahead and hold those for you guys. Hopefully, we can get enough netherrack to burrow ourselves up there. Oh yeah, more than enough. Okay, let's get over here. Let's mine this. Um, hopefully the ghast is despawned. Probably. 
knowing gas, they're very, uh, they, 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 they tend to, to come and go very often. I'm not really sure why, but they just do. Okay, let's get this pocket of glowstone. This is gonna be fun. It's like a big old oak tree. It's like one of those big oak trees, you know, they're kind of annoying. Except the large ones. You're wondering why I'm mining with the pickaxe? Uh, because I have fortune on it. We always typically get four, which is how many powder glowstone like dust it takes to make a block. So it's actually really cool that we get it every single time we break it. I don't know, it's kind of nice. But I always like mining glowstone. I just feel like it's so satisfying. And uh, oh, and it's such a pretty block too. It's one of my favorite blocks in Minecraft for sure. Just because it's a solid block that emits, or it's not a solid block, but it's just a block that emits light. And I just remember it was one of the first blocks that I ever played with in Minecraft Classic. I remember placing it down and being like, whoa, this this stone glows. And then I looked at its name, and it was called Glowstone, and I was just like, oh yeah. Plus, you almost never find glowstone pockets that are like right, right next to the ground. So I figured I might as well mine it on this little journey. And uh, we should end up with so much glowstone. Like, look at this. <clears throat> if you're wondering why I sound different, um, I just woke up because I have to record after I would just wake up because this is so long. Usually I'd wait a little bit to wake up. It's not that like I, I'm not unhappy to be record. Oh wow. It's not that I'm unhappy to be recording or anything like that. But if my voice does sound different, that is the reason behind it. So a couple of them didn't give us the things, but we have over a stack of glow. Oh, we have over a stack of glowstone now, which is really cool. Um, there are more of these pockets here, so I'll just keep that in mind in the future in case we need it. But for now, we've got to do a very dangerous mission. We've got to go up here and uh, stop this lava flow, which uh, should be interesting to say the least. We'll just go up like right here. Now, hopefully nothing's up there. I don't know what would be up there that would attack us, but you never know in the nether, I guess. Um, things just tend to happen. No, it looks like we're actually really close to it. So as soon as I plug that, I feel like the world, the nether will just sort of explode. I really hope not. I also really hope that my converted versions of Minecraft work for everyone, um, as far as the bedrock and stuff. Um, if you're playing on an Xbox 360, I don't know if it will work, just because I can't convert world types from the old generation consoles to the new ones. I can only do it for like the current Pocket Edition and uh, Xbox One and PS4 users. Now, that's going to be the majority of you, so for the few of you who can't play on the world, I'm very sorry, but you can play around with those files and see if you can't convert it and then see if someone could maybe try to convert it for you. But yeah, let's let this lava flow sort of dissipate. Hopefully it goes pretty quickly. I'm not really sure how quickly it will. Okay, I think we've reached the continuum. I think it's about to finally destroy itself, maybe. I thought it'd go down a lot quicker. That's so anticlimactic. I really thought, there we go. Maybe, what is it doing? What are you doing, lava? I feel like it should go down quicker, but maybe that's how quick water goes down. I don't know, I'm just honestly really excited to like start building this over here. So maybe we'll just sort of do it. Will that, will this mess anything up? No, hopefully not. I mean, will this, yeah? It's made it start to flow out the cobble, that's not good. Uh, we'll leave this little path over here. We might even tr make it a little bit wider, just so that if we want to come up here, we're not like like running away from stuff, because it's always really convenient when you're running and there's stuff shooting at you, so maybe we'll make that a non-factor here. Okay, cool, so the lava's gone, so that means we get to start drilling out our nether super highway. Um, I just saw a YouTuber do that recently. I don't know who it was, but they were making another highway. It might have been I'll I list I don't even know his name, but it starts like I L Y or something. I'm not sure, but this should go very quickly just because of our pickaxe. So let's drill this up and uh, watch this. This should be pretty quick. Now the reason I don't do time lapses is because they waste so much. Oh, they waste so much camera footage. Like you'd be very surprised. Um, like. 10 minutes of footage is like 80 gigs or something like that. I don't I don't know the exact number But no because like a 30 minute video is like a hundred and uh, 50 gigabytes or something like that. So I have to have big recording hard drives I actually only have one hard drive right now since my other one failed But hopefully this is pretty simple to do I might as well put glowstone in here since we are in the nether Hopefully we don't encounter too many of these blocks like these magma blocks and whatnot just because they're kind of a, uh, a nuisance but I think it'd, it'd be appropriate in here to use like glowstone. I'm not sure how often. Um, it really, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's dark in the nether, I guess, because nothing can really, I mean, everything's gonna spawn all the time. And that's just, this is just one of, okay, hopefully that breaks quickly. I think it will. Yeah, good. It's fun to mine obsidian on the stream because it gives me a chance to like talk and read the chat. 
but on here it's a different story. I should have filled this in with netherrack. I don't know why I didn't. I have so much netherrack. I should just fill that in with netherrack. Okay, well, we'll just have the glowstone when we get to the end. Um, this is kind of fun to mine out just because of how fast we can do it. And we don't really have to, like, take breaks or anything because, like, you know, eventually it gets fatiguing mining cobblestone. But this is just so quick. So I'm going to mine out a bunch of this and then I'll come back on camera and show you what I did. And there we go. So we've reached the other area. Uh, we're gonna have to make a cobblestone path on obviously this path is already extremely long but i was gonna go for gold here and make it absolutely huge so i'll make well I, I was gonna say i'll make another chest but then i have to run so far back and it's not too far to over there so i'm gonna wing it and hopefully we don't die i hear a ghast currently now i don't know where this ghast is um i don't know how long we'll be undercover actually we're undercover for a good bit here so i'm not too worried about it Hopefully this path doesn't take too, too long. I don't think it will. Once we get to there, I think I'm just going to drill out as far as I can go in there and then add the portal somewhere underground over there. But again, yeah, I'm not going to show me building the bridge. That is one of the most excruciatingly boring things I have to do. Um, it's not bad or anything. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it would be excruciatingly bad to watch a video where the, the YouTuber is just building a... Uh, a, a, a one by three path the entire time so I'll catch you guys in a bit I may have to go back to the overworld get more cobblestone uh, I'm, I probably will have to but we'll see we'll see but I'll see you guys when I'm finally over there so this special will definitely be the longest YouTube video I think I've ever made I've made ones that are like an hour an hour and 30 um, one was even I think two hours one of those 25 quick and easy houses but never three hours so it's gonna be very interesting to see how my computer handles rendering that because that's a lot of data but it should be interesting hopefully my hard drive can hold it all if not I'll have to like offload it to one of my portable ones but I'm hoping we don't have to do that because that's gonna just make things a little dicey uh, but yeah this is pretty th this is fun I'm having a lot of fun I'm gonna go get more cobblestone obviously because we're out and uh, it looks like this path is already pretty long. I'm not sure how long it exactly is, but I wanted to make it like close to 500 blocks in here so we can do a little calculation. So we're at like four, we were at like 500 when we started on the uh, Z coordinate. So let's see what we were at when we get to the beginning. Because if it is a factor of seven and it's 500 long, that's 3,500 blocks. So I wanted to title this journey or this episode 300K special. But I wanted to preface it with we're going to be traveling like 3,000 blocks. So it looks like we're about that far. Once we get to there, I'm sure we'll be that far. But so far it's about 400 blocks long, which is just what I wanted. So once we get over to that area, I think we should be good. Okay, well that's how all the cobblestone we have in the overworld too. So uh, hopefully it doesn't take more than six stacks of uh, cobble. Uh, if not, we're going to be quarrying out some more. Maybe even on stream, we'll see. But if you guys want to catch my live streams, I try to go in the evening. Uh, sometimes in the middle of the day, but not many people watch in the middle of the day. They tend to watch more at night, which is fine. So that's what I'm going to try to stream. So if you guys want to catch me, I don't have a schedule just yet because I'm not really sure about making a schedule. I don't want to make promises or anything like that. But yeah, catch me on stream. I was going to come on camera and say, ah, it feels good to be back uh, to the nether, but it doesn't. This place is nasty. Now, ideally in the future, I would like this to be covered or have some sort of protection, but that's a large undertaking to ha to do. So that's probably something we'd do on stream again, just because that's not something I'm comfortable like making a whole episode about. Just like that would just be so so boring. But yeah, let's get over here. I'll come back on camera. Uh, let me get to where I can actually talk about it. I'll come back on camera whenever we can get to that over there. You guys see that in the very far distance. I want to get to right there, I want to drill as far as we can through that, and then from there, we'll go ahead and place our portal down, which we got the 10 blocks, we've got the flint and steel, just trying to make sure, because that would suck if we didn't have it, and uh, we'll be able to go a pretty good distance, I think, hopefully we end up in some crazy area, maybe a mushroom biome, that's what I'm really hoping for, that's one of my favorite biomes, also the most rare in the game, so I hope we get one of those. This is what I'm worried about, if I were to die right here, this would be so terrible. I really hope I can just time these right and hit him and kill him or her. I'm not really sure what you do. That's not good. Why is that not working? My, my pro strats aren't working. Pro strats. Really? Okay, good. I was about to be so worried. I saw that gas the entire time I was building. He was hanging out like over there. And he decided, you know, we're going to float over here and uh, end this man's career, which is what he tra he's trying to do. The gas is trying to end my career. You guys keep saying that. I don't know if it's like an inside joke. You keep saying like, end my career. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty funny. And it's true. 
Okay, so if you come back on camera, we reached the continuum point. Um, now there is a little bit of netherrack above our heads here, so we'll clear that out just so that we always have that 3x3 three three tunnel. And uh, hopefully we go pretty far in here. If not, it's not a big deal. I'm already so far away that I feel like I'd be happy with just traveling this amount of blocks. But uh, yeah, let's see. We'll, we'll do a little bit. Oh, we'll do a little bit on camera initially. I hope things like that don't keep happening. That's like unfortunate if lava falls. So I'll see how far we can get in here. Probably pretty far. I'm hoping pretty far. But hopefully if lava starts to flow in here, it's such a pain if you can't like get it off the bat. Like it really is, just because then you gotta, I don't know, you just gotta do some gymnastics to try to make it all work. But we keep encountering these pockets of uh, magma, and while they're beautiful and great, and I really hope they make a good light source, because I've already collected so many, I kind of want to just spam them and uh, put them for light sources in areas. I don't know, do they admit, do they admit, okay, so they don't hurt you when you touch them from the side, only if you stand on them not holding crouch, that's interesting. You'd think that they'd program them to always hurt you no matter what. But apparently crouching closer to the block that's burning your feet somehow makes it stop burning you. Okay, well it looks like this may be a good distance, so I'm just gonna keep breaking this off camera and I'll come back if anything crazy happens. Okay, well I'm starting to hear lava, so I think we're getting close. Uh, this path wasn't too terribly long like the other one, but I think we're about to reach the area where, yeah, so... Um, I don't want to go over this one too, that's definitely too much, so we're just going to sort of block this off here and uh, add a portal and we'll sort of see how far we go. Now it'll be uneven unfortunately, but it's it's not a big deal. I think I think everyone will survive in the series. I hope so. Even if it's uneven, will you guys will you guys die? I hope not. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh let's activate her and let's see how far we go. Um, so we, yeah, we traveled about 700 blocks, so about 4,900 overworld blocks. We should end up, and it's going to take a while to load because it's it's literally loading an entirely new world. Like, Well, not really, but to the computer, it's an entire new area. So hopefully it doesn't take too long, but it should generate a pretty... Okay. Okay, so we're, we're at level 26, and uh, we're, we're at an underground part at level 26. Um, that's not that's not ideal. I guess it's only fair that that happened. Let me light up this cave Hopefully, it's not a big cave just because I don't want things spawning where our nether portal is when we're already so far away from home That would not be ideal um, Okay, so it looks like nothing can spawn and walk into there. Hopefully this path is also shortened by the ravine um, Yes, now this is a low ravine. So I'm curious if there's any diamonds in here I'll do a quick like little once over but I don't think it goes low enough for a bunch of uh, diamonds to spawn. Hopefully not. Okay, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> There's skeletons. I don't want to deal with them. I hate skeletons. Skeletons OP. Um, hashtag Mojang. Skeletons OP. I really do think they're overpowered. Like, they just have such good aim. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. Uh, I know I should get the gold, but we're just going to drill a little bit of a path out just because uh, otherwise we're not going to really be able to get to the uh, over, like the overworld. So we'll drill up here. I'll come back when I've found the area that I deem uh, worthy, aka the ground. I hope I hope I find the ground. If not, we're going to be in for a rude awakening. Maybe we'll be in a in in the aqua world, or hope maybe we're under an ocean. You know, you never know. So I'll come back when uh when it's exciting. Okay, well, we've hit dirt, so I assume this is where the top is. Oh, that's scary. That's scary because we're so far away. What are our coordinates? Yeah, we're at 5,257. So hopefully we're like, so far away that, like, I don't know, something crazy happens. I'm not really sure. But it looks like this is the end. I don't have a shovel. I'm this far in the series. I feel like I had a diamond shovel. Um, I don't know where it went. But this pickaxe, yeah, we're at grass. This pickaxe is almost dead. And uh, to repair it, it does cost a good bit of XP, so maybe we'll go mine nether quartz or something. Um, I know it's exciting to see, but I'm making you guys wait because I want to be able to... Okay, we're not going to look. We're not going to look. Okay, we can't gather any of that. Let's see where we are. Okay, so there's a swamp. Okay, is that a, is that a village or a, one, of them, one of them temples? What is that? I don't know what that is. Is it becoming night or... Yeah, it's becoming night, of course. Okay, well, we're very far away. Now, I don't know what that exactly means for us, but we have a means to get very far away should we ever need to, like, like have to, I guess. Uh, more than anything, it's just kind of fun to go out into a new place. Is that a village? No, that's a tree. I can also see the stars rising, so we need to get back home. 
Um, I wanted to get that done just for sort of future proofing the world because I know at some point we're gonna want to do stuff like that. Now, hopefully, I did not just lose that. Where? Oh no. Okay, wait. What? No, I know it was over here. It was over here. Okay. And uh, we'll use a little something to denote that this is here. Um, we'll build a little bit of a. I don't know what you'd call it, but we're gonna build one of these just to uh, sort of let everyone know, hey, we've we've got something here that way in case we get any explorers and they'd like to head over to our world um, 5,000 blocks away, they can <clears throat> sort of make their way here. Um, okay, and then maybe put, put like some glowstone on it. I'm not really sure. I'm sure at some point we'll make this look a whole lot better, but for right now, this'll do. Uh, we'll go up on the side here and we'll just uh, do something like this. I'm not really sure what this does or what this means. I don't really think it means anything. Definitely doesn't mean anything, but it looks sort of cool. And uh, that'll sort of denote that we're 5,000 blocks away. So people will see this. It's a space portal, guys. All you have to do is go in this hole right under the space portal, and you'll end up in a place that's much better than your home. Um, hopefully, I, I assume there's something out there. We'll, of course, go out there and explore it. I'm going to go down and just mine for a bit. Uh, we have 297 durability on this thing. Um, so I'm just going to make a little path down to uh, level uh, 11, and I'm just going to strip mine until it's day. Well, as soon as we got down here initially, I mean, we've got so we've got a few things off the bat. we got gold, we got redstone. Hopefully we find diamonds. Now, we have a ton of netherrack, so I'm going to make like a make a little uh, thing here because we don't need this much netherrack. No one on earth needs this much netherrack, nor do they need the gravel. Um, the magma, we don't need really that much of. We'll, we'll, we'll keep a little bit. But, like, there's things in here. I don't need that. I don't need that. And uh, we'll keep the mossy, but hopefully we can find some good stuff down here. We are at layer 11, so again, I'm just going to strip mine until day, and I'll come back when we find diamonds or anything. Um, that's the hope when we travel this far away. RNG resets. Maybe we'll have bad luck down here. Maybe we'll have good luck. You just never know with strip mining, and I think that's, that's the fun part about it. Okay, so I was mining, and I was digging out one of these branches. You see, we, we didn't really get that far, and uh, I saw this opening, so I ran in here. And it uh, looks like we have a little bit of a mine shaft. I sort of stopped right here. I didn't go any further. So hopefully we can find something in here of substance. I, I don't know. We are all, we are already pretty low into the world. So I, I assume that since these are these are at layer 18 though, the so diamonds can't spawn. But some parts of this, like over here, definitely stuff can spawn. Now I should not get lost here. That would be the absolute worst thing. So I'm going to try to always place my torches on the left, and hopefully, okay, this is another ravine. You see, these are so low. These ravines at this depth are absolutely so rare. Oh, well, there's diamond, and there's lapis. I was going to say, there has to be some diamond around here, even if just a little bit. So let's see how much this is. Hopefully, Fortune 3 uh, made us really lucky. Yeah, 18 diamonds from one pocket. See, that's that's the kind of stuff I'm, I'm looking for, and that's what I get excited about. I love when that happens. Like, you mind, like, just the tiniest bit. And then you get all this stuff. Um, iron, I'm not sure how, or I'm not sure what need for iron we really have, but we might as well get it. Um, let's see over here. I feel like there might be something else. There's got to be more diamonds in this somewhere. I mean, this is just so much exposed area. It's so low in the world that somewhere in here, there's going to be more diamonds. Um, where? I'm not really sure. I'm sure someone's going to try to troll me in the comments and tell me that, oh, there was diamonds at blah, blah, blah. And I'm, and oh. Well, there's a, another spawner. Um, it appears to be a zombie spawner, which is cool. Those are always rare. Haven't found one of those since the beginning of the series. And we'll go ahead and just torch it up like the old school days. Um, Unbreaking 2, that's a good enchant. Um, I think we already have that book, or not the book, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure we already have that music disc, but we'll, we'll go ahead and take it once, or take it twice. I'll leave this spawner here in case for some reason we want to make another spawner. And yes, I've already seen those two chests. I know there's one like right there, and then I know there's one right there, obviously. So we'll get the, both of those real quick. Um, hopefully they have something good in them. Uh, some diamonds, that's always good. Gold. Uh, we don't need pumpkin seeds. You guys said name tags are rare, so we'll take those. Actually, I'd rather take a block of this. Um, we already do have coal torches. Always welcome more torches. Um, rails, we don't really need them. I know that like technically we need them, but I mean we already have we cannot we already have so much iron, guys. We're not gonna worry about it. Let's go see what's in this chest. Uh, right after I collect this iron. <laughs> see what I mean? We have iron just because I love collecting it. I love collecting materials. Um, let's see, is there anything in here of substance? Coal? 
Not really. Bread. We don't really need bread. Melon seeds. Powered rail. Detector. Nah. We should be good. Um, now, hopefully in here, again, I hope there's more diamonds. I don't know if there is. Um, it's probably day by now, but I did not expect to discover something like this so early on. Now, I do want to sort of have um, a means to find my way back. So that, that was for sure the way back. Um, do we need to block off any of this? No, this is all connected. Okay, well, we'll just go over here. Hopefully there's something else over here. I don't really know. What level is this at? 15? So if they're going to be here, they'll have to be below like this block, this layer right here. So I'm just sort of keeping my eyes peeled for diamonds. Now, I do know that we need a lot of lapis for enchanting. So we'll get as much of that as we can. We do already have a good bit. Our inventory is completely full. We need to make an outpost out here before anything. But I just wanted to do a little bit of exploring, waiting for the... Uh... Okay, so that's the end. Nothing in there. Is that another ravine over there? No. I was going to say, that'd be crazy. Double ravines stacked side by side. That's pretty dope. Um, I almost cut the recording. I'm not sure why, because I want to go over here. Uh, we already did go this direction, but I'm not sure how far we really... Do you guys hear that wind? It sounds so creepy, especially at night. Like, I could see why people would think this place is haunted if the wind was like that. I, I would have moved out of here. I would have been like, oh my gosh. It's haunted. I, I know you guys can also hear people at the pool yelling and screaming. I'm so sorry. There's just a bunch of kids there, and they're just absolutely just, like, so excited to be at the pool. So, because I'm, like, really close to the pool. And, um, the, like, the, the community pool or whatever. So, I am sorry if you guys can hear that. I do apologize. Um, I can't do anything about it. I can't move just because it's too loud. Although, this is my job, so maybe I could justify it, but I, I don't really know. I'd like to not move. Um, oh, I was trying to press F3. I guess we already had an A held down. Okay, well, let's just get back to my uh, normal place. Let's go see if it's day, which I assume it has to be. It's already been so long that if it's not day, I'll be very surprised. So, I think I can find my way back here. I think I can. Oh, yeah, it's just straight this way, right? Right? I think so. Yeah, it was just right here. Cool. Okay, let's go back up top and let's see if it's day. I assume it is, but you know what? You can never make too many assumptions in the world. Because maybe we waited so long that now it's night again? I don't know. We should be able to see from the bottom here if it is. Is it night again? Or maybe we didn't even wait long enough. I don't know. Okay, we're in luck. So it looks like it's just becoming day, I assume, since everything's sort of brightening up. Yeah, the moon is setting. This creeper, you're not going to mess this up. Oh! I started taking two. What the... Dude, dude, not cool at all. Like seriously, what what kind of? <sighs> okay, well, we'll build this back real quick. We'll just fill this in with cobblestone. It's not a big deal. We have so much excess cobble. I'm not worried about little projects like that. But that creeper, not cool. Not cool at all. That was very mean of you. That was very rude. You ruined our beautiful shrine structure here. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what direction to run. Um, so we'll just sort of run. Which way is this? We're running north, so we need to run south to get back. So I'm just going to run a far distance this way, see if we spot anything. Maybe a village? I'm not really sure, but I wanted to adventure a little bit. And this should uh, quench my thirst for adventure, so. Um, okay, there's a lava pocket there. We, do have, we don't have pigs, that's something we could bring back. Although I'm not sure how far we'd have to travel to get them back. Actually a good bit. Horsies! Hello! Pretty cool. I've never really had a horse in Minecraft. I don't think I have a saddle, but at some point I'd like to get a horse just because I can finally say I've gotten a horse in, in Minecraft, which I feel like a lot of people have and that's completely normal, but I've never gotten a horse. Um, okay, I don't see anything in the immediate distance, like not much at all. I do see a couple of cows. I don't see any villages, villages or anything, so I want to do something exciting for this episode. I'm trying to figure out what that will be. I'm not sure, but I do have a couple of projects in mind. We need to get um, a tower done. We could build a couple of buildings for our. Um, we could build a couple of buildings for our village. Maybe try to get some villagers over there. I'm not really sure. I think the first order of business is going to be repairing this pick because wow, it's getting really close to death. So, hmm, I'm going to go back to the home base all the way through the Nether and whatnot, and uh, I will come back when we are. Um, back to the actual, like, back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. 
but I'll come back when we're actually back to home. I know it's a far distance, but we should be good. I'll see you guys back there. Now, I'd really like to get back to level 30 uh, with the enchantment levels, just because that means we can mine stuff easy. I know the nether quartz is falling into the, the lava. I really don't care about it. We already have so much of it. Um, I can't even collect it. Okay, well, we at least have to be able to collect it. We'll put it like that. Um, I just want to get the XP from it, because you guys told me that it's good for XP, and you guys were more than right. Like, you get a ton of XP from it, so any of it that I see, I may make a little pit stop over there and grab some. I know I encountered a little bit when I was drilling this out. Um, we, we only added a little bit of glowstone, too. It's okay. The nether, I can't really get that dark here, it seems. Now, I don't know about the caves, but it seems like most of the other areas can't get that dark. Okay, let's just keep mining nether quartz. I know this episode has been majority in the nether, and I do apologize, but it's not its not that bad of a deal, right? You're still getting three hours of the Neo-Cubist. I'm not really sure what, still why you guys like me so much. You guys tell me it's my personality, but I'm like, what? What personality are you talking about there? What, uh, what, what? Because I don't really think I have a very crazy personality. I guess everyone technically has a personality, otherwise that'd be very confusing. Everyone would be the exact same, but I don't I don't think I'm like too different. Okay, we have 20 diamonds. Uh, I'm kind of uncomfortable mining in the nether when we got 20 diamonds, but I want this XP, and this nether quartz seems to drop just a ridiculous amount of XP, which is not a bad thing, but we have an XP spawner, so I'm not really worried about getting XP via that means. Um, but yeah, I'll meet you guys back in the overworld. It does feel good to have another super highway though. Eventually we'll add rails to it, make it a much better, but it does feel good to finally have it, so yeah. You know what I shouldn't do, but totally I'm gonna do because I hate pigmen? We're gonna, um, we're gonna aggro them. Watch this. But then look, we're gonna cheap them out like this, and then they can't kill us. And we just have to sit right here. Hopefully there's not too many pigmen in my actual base. You know, I'm done with the nether. I don't like the nether. Okay, this guy's gonna hop up and try to blot me real quick. He's gonna realize, oh yeah, this is my enemy. Is there any in here? <laughs> oh no. Watch this, we got iron doors for a reason, guys. Haha, -ha, you guys can't come in here. What? They can hit me through a door? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Okay, back to the overworld. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna feel so nice to get back here. Ah. Uh, so loud but much better much much better okay let's put up this cobblestone let's grab these resources that we had down in here and uh we could put up the cobble in here we don't necessarily have to put it in here but i want to have room for everything else dirt we don't need mossy cobble we'll leave it in there hopefully we have enough room to grab all this stuff down here okay let's see what the damage is what do we got what do we got um okay i think we can can we can we fit all this in here no <laughs> not even close we tried, but we're not even close. Okay, what can we put up? We don't need the dark oak. We can grab that with this, and then ender pearl. That's really rare. We'll put, we'll put torches in there in case we ever run out of torches. We probably won't see them in there, but someone in the comments will be like, "Hey, Neo, there was torches in there." I'll be like, "Yeah, you, you're not wrong, but I completely forgot they were there." But yeah, I want to put these up in our house because we have so much. We have so many diamonds. I mean, we got 23. We don't really need that many. Um, I'd like to repair this pick, so maybe we'll go repair that before dropping everything off, which is not the smartest idea, but I don't know. I think the chances of something killing us in this walled-off area are very slim to none. I do like that we have this area walled off. Um, I want to add a bunch of buildings in here, so I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the episode is just sort of build things. Um, obviously, if that gets boring or whatever, then we'll, we'll not do it, but I don't know how much it's going to cost. Yeah, it costs 35. It costs 32 to repair it now. Yeah, see, it's just it's just not worth it anymore. Even one diamond is, or even one repair on it's 32. So <sighs> there's something sad about that. But oh, we still have more diamonds in here. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. We gotta make this into blocks just so that we have more inventory space to grab the other lapis, and then we should be good. Can we? No, we still have four. That's okay. I don't think we need four. But as long as we can make 14 more blocks. We should be good. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this. We'll leave a couple of blocks in here because I know we need it for enchanting. We'll leave like 15. That's actually, you know what? We'll put all the lapis in here. We don't even need it in that house. Um, I think the first order of business is going to try to be get another pickaxe similar to this. 
I know that I could get mending, but the issue is is that like I couldn't. I tried for so long to get it on the stream, and I just could not get it from the library end. So it looks like that's a non-option, unfortunately. Um, eventually, I'll try to get it again, but I, I honestly, I did it. I gave it my all, but we never really got to the point where we could get it. Uh, we need to make coal blocks. Um, is there anything else I can sort of compress? I need to smelt this stuff. Um, for some reason, I don't feel like nether quartz should go in here. But this area is getting a little small. I don't know. Do I have anything in here? I have a little bit of iron. I don't remember. Like, I know I had a bunch of stuff. Okay. Well, we'll smelt a whole nother stack of iron. We'll smelt a whole nother stack of iron in here, too. And then we got one little eight stack. And then we should have just an absolute ton of gold. We don't need this much, but it's okay. Uh, I think I may actually need seven. Okay. And then diamonds can go up in here. Emeralds can go up in here. I'm not sure where this lap is in that corner. And honestly, I don't even want lapis in there. Um, okay, well, we have seven extra. That should be okay. That should be Gucci. Uh, what else do we have? A ton of iron. Iron nuggets. Yeah. I want to put this nether stuff up somewhere else. Um, I don't really know where. We'll, we'll put it in here because it's not really that rare. I had it in my rare chest, but I feel like it's not worthy almost because there's so much of this nether quartz and stuff. I know you can compress it to quartz blocks, but when you do that, you can't turn it back into the quartz, which is kind of silly in my opinion, but eh, whatever. Okay, that's maximum compression. We, got the, we have like so many stacks of coal blocks. I don't really think we're ever going to need more coal. Um, we didn't stack this redstone up. It's okay. It'll just go over uh, one extra coal. We have glowstone dust. We'll put it. Oh, we'll put it right next to that like this. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a little bit off camera for some mobs to spawn. Well, definitely ender pearls in here. Definitely blaze stuff. That's very rare. I uh, will put this enchanted book in here as well as this other disc. And then we should do name tag stack. Yes, they do. We have these ominous banners. We also have these bones and stuff. We'll put those, uh, no, not in there. We'll put those in here because I think we already have stacks of them. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to wait a little bit for my mob spawner to uh, sort of grow with some mobs. Oh, first, I got to sleep, though. I can't do this during the day. There's no way. But yeah, I'll come back uh, when there's a bunch of mobs spawned. Uh, if you guys are new to the series, uh, first of all, hello. Um, you've watched me now for like over like 30, over like 50. Are we at 50 minutes in? I'm not even sure, but either way, you've already watched me for a while. So if you're not subscribed and you want to, feel free to. But uh, we have this mob spawner down in here. And uh, we're just going to wait for it to uh, spawn some stuff in. So hopefully it happens pretty quickly. I'll wait here for like, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes off camera and go take a little bit of a break. It'll be nice for me. But yeah, I'll come back when we're done with that. Okay, well, 20 or 30 minutes, 45 minutes, I'm not sure how long passed. I watched a few episodes and I uh, replied to some comments. But, uh, yeah, it looks like there's a ton just in this corner. I hear chickens, and I, I don't know, can zombie spawners spawn chicken zombies? I didn't think that was possible, but uh, there's a ton of zombies in here. I, I love this spawner. I got it just right with how far away from... Uh, the spawner actually has to be. Now I turn the zombie sound down because otherwise it just destroys headphone users' ears. And I'm not trying to do that. Uh, I do my best to turn it down uh, like in the editing side, but sometimes I forget. And if I forget, it makes it so loud that I don't think anyone wants to watch my videos. I hope this is 30 levels, but if it's not, um, you can always get it pretty quickly in the nether with nether quartz. Or just there's many other ways to do it. But let's see. Let's turn the zombie sound back to normal. I think they were at like 40% or something. No, they were not at 40%. I think they were at like 25. Yeah, that sounds okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Um. Okay, so we have 29 levels. It seems like there it only spawns enough in there only to give us 29 levels, which is okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I know we could trade this at the cleric for emeralds, I think. Rotten flesh for emeralds. Um, I kind of want to go check that out, so I'm going to fill this up with rotten flesh. We'll go over to that um, area, and we'll just get that, because I want to get another pickaxe going as soon as possible. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to grab some diamonds and uh, make a little bit of a pickaxe so that we have one in preparation. I think we already have a couple of pickaxes. You, you guys said you could repair this in an anvil if you combine it with another pick, but I almost feel like you'd lose here. Well, just in case... We'll grab a little bit of wood, since we have a little bit of wood, we'll grab three diamonds, 
because that's how many we'll need. You know, we'll grab four, just because we're balling out. We'll have an extra diamond on us, just in case we die. But let me go over here. You guys said... Oh, let me grab this, too. You guys said that if you put it in an anvil, but I feel like if it's not enchanted, it won't work. Because otherwise, you, why would you even use the anvil's, like, repair feature? Why would you just combine? But maybe that's maybe that's the, the goal. Let's, let's see. If we combine this and this... So it repairs it, but it costs, it still costs a ridiculous amount. So we'll just go ahead and leave this in here. We don't really need it. Um, I'm going to hop on the minecart track. We're going to go over to that secondary village we found. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm there. I don't think you want to watch this, but maybe I'll make you watch it a little bit. I'm not sure. I honestly forgot how long this thing is. Like, this thing is extremely long. We should be proud. We've gotten so far in our survival world. I'm not sure what else there is to do. But I'm definitely going to still set goals. That's what's going to keep this thing fresh, keep this thing fun. Um, I probably won't still upload it daily. I'm going to try to do every other day. I want to mix in tutorials too. I'm going to try to slowly get back into those. Because that is the heart of my channel. That's where it all started. That's where probably most of you found my channel. I know a lot of you found it from the Let's Play. But there's a lot of people that are just sort of waiting for me to make some tutorials. And I get that. So uh, don't worry about that, guys. I'm going to get back into them. I just didn't want to get burned out on building a new thing every single day. Because that was killing my brain. That was absolutely wrecking my brain. But we're getting real close. So I'll come back when we're there. We have this jungle. This cat was like chasing us. Which is interesting. Um, I think the village is over there, so we'll hop out of the mine cart like right here. Yeah, that's fine. Just don't go too far, buddy. And I think if we go over here, I love how this spawned here like in the jungle, but it's not. It's actually in the oak, or it's in the plains biome, so it sort of changed itself. But we have a little bit of a jungle, or not a jungle. Sorry, we have a little bit of a... <gasps> Sorry, we got a village over here, and uh, hopefully the cleric is still there providing that rotten flesh trade. I don't think he'll trade that much rotten flesh, but we'll see. Maybe if there's a... I don't know if I left one of my lecterns in here or not. Um, and it's becoming night. I probably should have slept, but hopefully if he's still in here, we can see if we can get that trade going. But, ooh, carrot? Do I need carrots? No. Why'd I do that? Oh, what? Well, well, here. We'll compost them. How about that? We'll help. We'll help them out. We'll, we'll put. You can't compost carrots. No, you can. It was just lagging. Of course, Minecraft. You would lag. <sighs> Minecraft. Minecraft. It'll never be fixed. I'm convinced. It's for a forever broken game. It's not actually broken. It just has little bugs here and there. But it's made in Java, so you can't blame them. Um, Java's not the best and cleanest language. Where is the cleric? Are you hanging out on the second floor? The third floor, even? I heard him. I just don't know where he is. Where are you at, buddy? Um, I may have removed his brewing stand, and he doesn't have a job now. Yeah, I did remove his brewing stand, so it's we don't have a cleric anymore. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. We traveled all this distance for nothing. Well, are there any trades in here that interest us? Because I tried to make... I didn't remove all of their jobs. I think I removed this person's job. Because I was trying to make it where I could... Uh, make one of the librarians to get mending but it never happened maybe we'll do a little bit of fishing i don't know i kind of want to try to enchant a fishing rod because i know we can get mending that way so maybe that should be our goal get 30 levels and then enchant a fishing rod maybe something like that um blacksmith you got any trades for us are you even in here no we got the diamond here I'll, I'll leave him a diamond offering just one diamond maybe that'll uh maybe that'll help us out here um I think we can get the levels in this. It's about to break anyways, so. Did that give us? No. See, it barely gives you anything. It's almost not worth it. But either way, that pickaxe would be dead in a few uh, hundred blocks anyways. So, removed all the enchants from that. There's not, a, not much else we can do. But let's go and uh, see if we can't find some. Maybe I should have kept it and combined it with other enchanted tool I make. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I'm still new to this whole, like, new wave of enchanting mechanics. Um, but yeah, let's get back to home base. Let's try to get 30 levels. Maybe we can kill some stuff and get 30. I don't know. Let's see. How much XP do you give? None? Hardly any? Okay, well, we'll just we'll just kill these animals real quick. We don't necessarily need them. Maybe we'll fight a little bit of mobs because I'm angry. I don't think I need to fight mobs, though. But we'll just, we'll just fight these chickies. Lord knows we don't need more cows. So we'll go over here, kill these cows. Try to get 30 levels real quick. I bet like actual hostile mobs would give you a lot more XP. The game's probably not trying to reward you too much for just killing animals because it does give us cooked food, so it is kind of convenient. 
I do love this sword. Hopefully we don't encounter the same issue where we can't repair it. Um, I want to be able to get mending. But we need like luck of the sea, I think, is the enchantment. I don't know how high up that enchantment goes. But you guys said if you can't get that enchant a bunch of boots. Um, because they don't really... Uh, like, like they reset the enchanting table. And they're not hard to like uh, enchant. Like leather boots or something. I don't know. Or No, they have to be the same kind. So like diamond boots, I guess. Come on, mobs. One time I want you to spawn and it's night and there's nothing. There's a creeper. How much XP? Nothing? Okay, so the mobs give you the same amount. I think it's just because we're such a high level. We have 11 steak. Is there anything else out here? Um, surprisingly, I don't see anything. I see a sheep. I see a sheep. Hello. Hello. I'm, I, have to, I have to do this for science. That's the reasoning I'm giving. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's simple, guys. Okay, so we should kill these two sheep. We should be good, right? No? Maybe three sheep? Boom. No? Okay, so they give you a variable amount of XP, I guess. I thought it was always the same, but I guess not. I don't really know how that works. But we're just going to run through the forest at night. Totally not a bad idea. I hear a zombie. Come here. Okay. Level 30? No. <laughs> we're so close. Okay. Are you serious? It's literally all the way full. Do you see that? I know you guys can see it, but like, look, it is literally all the way full. Okay, we'll kill one zombie. There we go. Level 30. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't have the minecart, so I'm going to run back. I'll meet you guys back at home base. Um, I will... F no, I'm going to film the journey home, because this is when bad things happen. They go bump in the night, and then... See, like, a creeper on the minecart track? Not a good thing. I try to stay away from the minecart track if I'm going to be traveling at night. Uh, we do need to kill Endermen, so... And skellies, get out of here. You guys are bad. You guys are all trash. I can kill you instantly. Look at this. Boom. Okay. Let's try to kill this enderman because I need... Well, first of all, that grass block is looking pretty cool. Okay, just die. <laughs> See, they spawn every time... Or they move every time they take damage. So the fact that I can set them on fire makes them just teleport all whopper jawed. Where'd he go? Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, we need the ender pearl. Uh, we have blaze powder. We need to get enough ender pearls to get over there. Now, I'm not sure how to get ender pearls. That's maybe something we should do after we fish. See, I'm finally finding out what we should do. Um, we should just kill a bunch of mobs and wait till we get, or kill a bunch of endermen, I guess. But we should just go out and uh, see if we can't find anything. I'd love to enchant this armor, but we don't have a bunch of extra levels, so it's going to be kind of hard. And I'm just going to run and knock this thing till we get to where the powered rails are because I don't think it'll really work too well otherwise I think I can just keep running right maybe okay so it looks like we're we <laughs> we got a buddy following us I'm not sure how that works but we'll just keep running with it hopefully it keeps going come on come on you got this you got this big guy here we go how close are we where are the powered rails they should be here right Okay, you know, we're just going to break it. That's going to make this so much easier. Um, I'd rather have... I don't need the rotten flesh. You guys were right, though. The cleric does take uh, emeralds. Or does give emeralds for rotten flesh. But unfortunately, I accidentally removed his job. Now, we have other jungles. Or we have other uh, villages and stuff. But not close to here. Okay, please. Go, 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 go. Gosh. It took so long. Now, I hope nothing spawns here. Uh, but unfortunately, if a creeper runs out on us and uh, decides to explode, it's going to ruin our rail track, which I really am uh, not too happy about. Eventually, I want to cover this thing up and make it all fancy, but it's going to be kind of hard to get to that point because this thing is so long. But I'd like to cover it in like glass or something, maybe, but I feel like that's almost a little claustrophobic, so we'd have to clear out even more of the jungle because we only have one block on either side, right? And if we had one block, I don't know. I think the first order of business is going to be to enchant a fishing rod. If we don't get luck of the sea, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just kind of like, that sucks because we just wasted, like, most of our levels. I guess it only takes three now. See, I like the new enchanting mechanics just because it doesn't use all of your levels, but it requires you to be at a certain one. It used to, I mean, it took so long, it takes so long to get to 30 levels that, like, okay, thank God. <laughs> My hands are off the keyboard. 
So even if that would have were to have happened, I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I guess we now know that a creeper doesn't have time to explode when you're going at max rail speed, maybe? I'm not really sure. I'm trying to see if there's anything down there we need to watch for. You never know. These, the, these days, you just never know. We're just going to get out right here. I'm going to start lighting up this area around the modern house. I don't feel, I feel like we should be safe out here when we're here at night. So let me make sure that that is the case. Um, I'm just want to light up like, I know they can't spawn leaf blocks, so I'm not worried about that. But like as far as like over here, this should all be lit up. Skelly, what are you doing? This is just, this is not the right time, okay? I'm about to make a fishing rod. We're about to get the best enchantment possible. <sighs> It's either a pick or an enchantment rod, but I really feel like we're going to have more luck getting something for the fishing rod because we I've never enchanted a fishing rod. I, actually, I have in my live stream. I, I take that back, but we got Unbreaking 2 on it, so it wasn't the best thing in the world. Now, hopefully we don't get Unbreaking 2. We get Luck of the C3, if that's possible, or Luck of the C or Luck of the C2. I don't know which one's possible, but I hope we get something. Um, okay, where is... Where's my string? Where is my string? Do I not have any string? You gotta be kidding me. I don't have any string. Surely I do somewhere. I guess not. I guess we'll have to go kill some spiders. That's surprising. I felt like I had string, but oh well. Um, well, we should probably sleep before anything. And then we need to go put up this, all this rotten flesh. I don't want to carry this around. It's starting to stink. Okay, so just check the footage and we're at one hour, which is awesome. We are one third of the way through. Um, feels like it's been a while, but we're only one-third of the way. Not a bad thing. It means you guys get even more content Okay, I'm not I shouldn't be running this way. We got to put up all this rotten flesh. Unfortunately We don't need this much. Um, maybe there'll even be some XP down in here. Maybe some spider. Maybe some string down in here. I don't know. I feel like we had string Okay, so there is a zombie or at least a few Will you give me any XP? I know they'll give me some, but probably not that much. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put up all this. We don't need all this rotten flesh. we have string in here? No, we don't. That's unfortunate. We really need string. Um, we're taking string donations right now. Anyone want to donate a little bit of string? I'd be really appreciative. I know all of you would probably be willing to, but I can't find any in my house. Maybe we'll go check in the mine? I'm not really sure, but we do have that dark room down there, so let me throw up a few things into our chests here. And then we'll go down in there, and hopefully we can have a little brawl arena action down there. I'm not really sure. Um, okay, ender pearl. Rare. Okay, we have two ender pearls. Um, is there anything else in here I don't need? Um, alive, plantish. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this stuff in here since it's, you know, wool was once on an alive thing. Uh, do I put gunpowder in here? Yeah. Um, bones? Well, they were once alive, too. I feel like we had string, but we really don't. Like, there's no string in here. Which is surprising, because I always like to keep string in case I need to make a couple fishing rods. Um, maybe it's in a junk, junk chest down here? I'm not sure. Uh, we should have a good bit of bone meal, though. I did throw in uh, a bunch of stuff there. Junk. Junk. I don't think we do. We do have our original tools. That was like our first, probably our first axe or our first pickaxe, so kind of memorable, I guess. Did I leave anything in here? I don't think I did. I probably should have checked that earlier. I think I did, or maybe I missed it. I'm not sure. Um, could it possibly be in here? Okay, that's not what I meant to do. I don't need these in my second hand. Um, are they in here? No, there's no string. Come on, we gotta have string somewhere. Maybe it's in this chest. I remember getting string. No. And we have more cobble in there. We have one string. Uh, power three, mending. Oh, wow. I forgot that bow was in there. That's nice. We have a ton of lanterns. Fortune one, an ender pearl. Wait, hold on. We got to take some of this rare stuff out. Why is this in here? We have a diamond sword in here. 29 of this. A bunch of good stuff. And we just left it in here. Left it to waste. Huh. Uh, five gold ingots. That should be good. I don't think I left anything in the nether that was good. I hope not, at least. Let's go down in here. Let's just get one more string. I think there's also an ender pearl down here. And who knows? Maybe there's string in one of these? No, there's not. Oh, I made a lot of chests. I have so many chests in this world, but I never filled them. Uh, you guys said, Neo, why don't you make a storage room? Well, 
I haven't really even used a little, I mean, well, I've used most of my rare chest. But other than that, we're pretty much empty, like we don't have that much stuff. Yeah, there's definitely not any down here. I don't know where, oh, five string, cool, okay. So I knew we had strings somewhere in the world, I was just confused. I was like, where, where did it go? Okay, so a fishing rod. Uh, let's go back up. Do we have ender pearls in here? I feel like I would have taken it. Is there any endermen in here? That's the question. <gasps> There's two. There's also a ton of other mobs. Okay, well, we got to do this carefully. Um, I need to attract the endermen. Okay. I just wanted to anger him. Hopefully, he'll teleport over here. They can teleport through stuff, right? Either way... Where? Where are you? Ender Pearl? Ender Pearl? No? No Ender Pearl? Okay, where, where, where's the other one? Okay, I'm looking directly at you. Come on. I know you want to. There we go. Okay, why did the creeper explode? Okay, we got another Ender Pearl. Looks like we're going to the end of this episode, guys. Where did that creeper explode at? Hopefully it's not near the shrine. Lamb, X-Ride, Lamb Feast Man. Thank you so much again for all the super chat donations. Uh, okay, we don't see anything in there. Uh, but yeah, if you guys ever want to hop on the stream, um, it, it's it's a lot of fun. We had this guy come in here. He started donating so much money. And like, I don't ask for donations. I'm not in a position to need them. But some people are just very, very generous. And he gave a lot of money. I mean, not like an extreme amount, but a pretty dang good bit for just me playing Minecraft. So I made him a little bit of a shrine there. Because he uh, found a, he technically kind of found us a diamond. Um, I want to get enough ender pearls to be able to go to the end or at least find the stronghold. Maybe not go to the end just yet. But I feel like um, once we get... Okay, so we need four. I don't know how many ender pearls we need. I'll probably look it up at some point. It's probably a good thing to have knowledge about before you go. I think we, I'm going to try to get like 10. And then, okay, we should take these books. I'm going to try to get about 10. And then from there, okay, we could put... <laughs> we have three swords that are barely used. That's nice. Um, okay. Let's go in and change. Oh, we have another book. Oh, no, those were. Okay, mending three. Do we have any arrows? Surely we have arrows somewhere in here. If not, we have a bunch of flint, but we don't have a ton of feathers. That's the only issue. I wanted to make a bunch. Yeah, we have a ton of flint, but I don't think we have a lot of arrows. Um, yeah, we don't. Okay, that's okay. Um, well, I'm gonna put the bow up then because we don't really want it, but it has mending on it Which is kind of like haha look there's mending on me, but not on anything else Now the only issue is if we get this enchantment or if we get this rod and we make it What if it doesn't give us mending? Like in the time it takes for the durability to run out on the rod. That's that's my question um, And I hope that's not the case, but let's grab a little bit of lapis um, And hopefully it doesn't where is that stuff? I hear it. Where is it? I heard a zombie. Okay, you know what? It's probably underground somewhere. <sighs> Let's finally do it. Unbreaking three. See, that's that's not what I want, though. We're going to do it. Luck of the C2, unbreaking three. Woo! Oh, yeah. That feels real good. The unbreaking three, that's like my favorite thing. How do you repair a fishing rod? You know what? I'm going to look that up on my phone. Hold on. Okay, so I looked up on Google. We only need fishing rods to repair it, so that's good. Okay, so it looks like also the minimum ender pearls we need is four to six because there's a ton in the strongholds. So it looks like we're about to go to the end too, so that should be pretty exciting. I don't think anyone saw that coming. Um, let's just fish around in here a little bit. We got that luck of the sea thing. I'm not sure what that means. I think it just means we get better stuff or have a quicker chance of getting better stuff. So hopefully we get something pretty cool. HD super shot. Um, and I'm hoping sometime soon that fish swims up to it. I want to get a mending book and then I want to enchant a pig. So let's see if this is the mending book swimming up to it. Come on. Okay, really? I hate when it does that. It makes the animation and then nothing actually is on your line. I guess the fish got bored or something. This may not even be deep enough to fish in. I really don't know. Um, what? <laughs> it like keeps swimming up to... Okay, we're not having any luck of the sea right there. Uh, we'll try to throw it where it's too deep. How about that? Uh, maybe like... Nope. Like that? There we go. Maybe we'll get something good there. I'm not really sure. Uh, but an AFK fishing farm would be a lot easier since we have luck of the sea too. Uh, but yeah, let me just cut the camera until I see something swimming up to it. There we go. 
We got a raw cod. Well, that's absolutely incredible. Um, I think more than anything, we should go to the end. I really want to be able to get elytra wings. Or elytra wings. I'm not really sure how to say it again. But I really hope that we get that at some point. Because that would be absolutely incredible. Now, I'm not sure like how big of an area you need to fish. I don't remember. I assume this is like pretty big. I mean, it's a pretty large amount of water. But it doesn't look like... Well, we've only fished once. So I can't say it doesn't look like we're getting anything good. Maybe this will be the mending book. Nope, another raw cod. That's absolutely incredible. We're only getting cod, even with this great enchantment. Well, we just got a puffer fish, but I didn't film it. I'm glad I didn't film it. Um, I do know that I want to get a bunch of arrows before we go. And, uh... What is that? Uh, a water bottle? I want to get a bunch of arrows, because we have that bow, and that's fine. But we can also kill them with uh, beds pretty easily, the ender dragon. Um, if we want to fight the ender dragon, I'm not really sure. I feel like if we start it, that's something we can't finish, so hopefully we can kill it, and that'd make for a good thumbnail. It really would. If we should, if we put the ender dragon in the thumbnail, which might be kind of hard, it may switch to creative as soon as we get there to get a screenshot, but if we can get a pretty cool screenshot, then uh, that would make this episode potentially a lot better as far as views go. I mean, I am doing this for the views, I will admit, but I'm also doing it because it's kind of fun. <laughs> it, is a, it actually is a lot of fun. Come on, please. Come on, I want to get a mending book, but I don't know how rare they are. And we this thing still has not been used technically once because of that unbreaking three. So this will basically be an infinite fishing rod. I know I can make an AFK fishing farm. I made one on the stream, but I don't know. They almost feel kind of OP. And I don't know if that's like an uncalled for feeling, but I feel like they're almost a little bit overpowered because you don't have to do anything. You just sit there and hold down your mouse, but they do take a while. But like, you know, that's just one of those things where I'm just not really sure. I'm not sure. Um... Okay, I'll wait for one more fish. Okay, we okay. You know what? We don't have good luck fishing. We finally used one durability, which is nice. I guess it makes sense as it technically only has 64 durability. Um, you know, we'll fish in this little lake right here. Maybe there's something in this pond. Maybe a little mending. Hmm. Any mending in here? I'm feeling some mending. I don't know. This may only be one deep. I may actually need to go to like the ocean or something. Oh, so there is things on it when it's, but it just can't suck it down to two blocks? Okay, so I guess I have to click whenever I hear that noise. Oh, well that's not that bad at all, except I'm just getting a bunch of fish, which are fine. I mean, that's normally fine, that's why you fish, but I'd love to get mending, but I don't want to film too much more of fishing. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. Someone said I should make a fishing episode, but... I honestly feel like people would like watch it for like a minute or two and be like, yeah, this this is not uh, it's not too exciting, dude. I'm gonna have to watch something else. Okay, we'll put these fish up. We don't have any fish in here. Okay, we'll put them in here then. How about that? We didn't put the books up, but whatever. Okay, so I feel like I had feathers somewhere. We need to make a bunch of this stuff before we go. Um, first of all, we need this and this. Only four. Hopefully, um. So I, I read that the best way to do it is just to throw them down and then just uh, we'll put those string up. A live plantish string goes in there. Um, we need the feathers from here. We need the flint. Where's the flint? Okay, there's the flint. I th think we had more flint though. Didn't we? I swear we have more flint. I know we do somewhere. Well, that's 63. I think I already grabbed it. Okay. I'm um, trying to make sure there's no feathers in here. I don't think there is. I didn't grab the bow, though. Let's grab that. Um, that is definitely something we're going to need. Um, maybe a few beds, too. You can kill them with beds very easily. And I, I know it seems kind of weird, but you really can. Uh, we don't have any of the same colored wool, so it doesn't really matter. We'll put the diamonds up. Um, that pickaxe is almost done anyways. It's called Neo Drill. It's kind of sad, though. <laughs> it kind of it, it ran out of steam. Um... I want the wood on us. We don't need lapis, though. Uh, the flint is fine. We'll put these in here. Um, I think it's safe to say we got 50 steak. That should be good. We don't have any potions. I feel like we should make a brewing stand. Maybe make a few potions. But I don't really know what potions to make, nor do I really... I mean, I know how to make them. I know how to, like, make the base potion. Awkward potions, I think they're called. Uh, we don't have any nether work growery, so that may be a little difficult. But I feel like there was a lot of string down in here because we killed all those mobs... And we threw their stuff down in here. So maybe there's some string in here. I'm not really sure. Let's let's find out. Um, or feathers. Sorry, not string. Okay, so we have 15 feathers, but that really doesn't make very many arrows, does it? 
I mean, 61 air. That's not nearly enough. This has power 3 on it. So, I mean, it's not like we can't kill it pretty quick. Maybe we should go try and enchant a few books and see if we can't get something better to add to this bow. I don't know what else we'd get um, on a bow. Maybe infinity? I'm not sure. I don't think you can have mending and infinity. That would be a little overpowered. But we'll see if we can, can't get anything. Um, if anything, I'd like to enchant this armor before we go. And I don't know. I hope that the it says the stronghold is this way. That way we can take the rail car. Although I feel like that's not okay. With efficiency, sharpness, piercing, and paling. Okay, we don't need any of that. Um, okay, let's grab a little bit of this, and let's just uh, see if we can't. We have any books? No, we don't. Okay, well let's see if. Um, oh yeah, I want to chant the armor a little bit. First and foremost, the breastplate. Uh, fire protection one. That's okay. Protection 2, that's okay. Fire protection 2, that's actually, fire protection is good to have. Uh, protection 2. Okay, so again, those are not the best enchants in the world, but now it's enchanted, it looks a little better like that. Um, paling, efficiency, that's all stuff we don't really need. Uh, water, okay. We'll put that in there. Okay, let's throw our first Eye of Ender. Hopefully we don't need too many. Okay, so that is the direction we have to go. Um, it fell, it did not break, so we're gonna run this way. Uh, we're gonna get very far into this jungle, and uh, hopefully we find the stronghold. Uh, we do have a decent bit, okay. Uh, another good thing about going to the end is we can make an Enderman spawner, and I don't know how efficient they are, or how they work, but you can always build a little tiny hut, and just sit there and like kill them, and then they can't attack you. So that actually makes for some pretty fun footage too, like trying to build in the, in the end. I, I just hope I don't die in there because I have everything on me. I may not want to take, I mean, we only have 61 arrows, but you get them back, right? Yeah, uh, maybe I want to go kill some skeletons to try to get arrows before like we get there. I mean, it depends. It could be 1,000 to 2,000 blocks. I, I think it tries to spawn it within 2,000 blocks of the player. So I'm going to travel like a good bit. And then what I'm going to do is just throw, um, I don't know, uh, throw it once more and see if that see if that's uh, close and it, I, I read in the wiki you just kind of throw one and then if it, you'll know if you have to double back if it goes the opposite way so just travel a far distance in that direction and then you can sort of guesstimate it from there now hopefully in this stronghold there's always a chance that it won't spawn enough for the portal but most of the time it does and I'm really hoping that it does and I love the bamboo forest to death it looks so cool but man there's a lot of bamboo here. I don't see any pandas either, but there's pods all too, which is nice. A little clearing in the jungle. What what biome is this? I can't. I, I don't know where it says biome. Oh, bamboo jungle still okay. Um, so we'll go a little bit further over here, and then we'll throw it again, and hopefully we're close-ish to the stronghold. Again, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of fun to run through it, I guess. I uh, I mean, in a way, be better without the HUD. When I do parkour, I never run with the, the, the HUD on. I don't need it. I'm that good. I wish I would have brought that fishing rod. I did bring the fishing rod. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything in here. If this dies, though, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. Uh, let's see. Maybe there's something good in the river. You never know. Rivers are always full of good stuff. I see salmon, like, literally right there, so I'm not sure why they wouldn't, like, swim into the game. I feel like this game has such a high budget. Like, there's so many, like, there's so much money in Microsoft. Why don't they allow them to like animate what's swimming up to the rod? Because it'd be cool to see a book swimming up to a fishing rod just so that you know that you're catching a book or like catching some boots. And they're like swimming up to, oh, what'd I get? Another fish? That's not good. I wanna get something, okay, you know what? We're getting distracted. I'm gonna throw it again when I'm out of the jungle cause I don't wanna like, actually, you know what? Where did it go? I guess it still went that way, I assume. I saw that a little bit of the particles, but I'm not 100% sure, and I think it broke too, which is fine. They only, you only can throw them so many times. We'll throw it up here. Okay, so this direction exactly. I need that. I need that, but it was this direction like exactly. So it looks like it's still far away. Um, we, can only, we can only throw them so many times, so I'm trying not to throw them um, as much as I can hold off. But I hope I don't lose that direction. I don't think I really will. It'd be kind of impossible. But we'll just keep running. We'll keep a running and a running. And uh, hopefully we get there before too long. Oh, man. 
I hate traveling through the jungle, but unfortunately that's what most of our world is, or most of our world near us. I mean, honestly, every, every biome is going to be even in the world, it just depends on where you are. I still remember, like, before this game came out, there was no game, like, no game really had procedural generation. Some people are going to bite me for saying that. There are there were a few games that toyed around with it and that sort of had it, but it was always, like, with a preset of things. I mean, this is with a preset of things, obviously. It doesn't just spawn random blocks, but it seems like the terrain in this game is always different for every world. There's a few of the same structures, like, for instance, Underground has always had the same few, like... You know, those, like those big circles underground, or like the big holes in the, or the big square boxes in the mine shafts. But for the most part, they're completely random. Obviously, there's like terrain, like rules, like it has to be so smooth, and it can't, you know, do this here, or blah blah blah. It has to be a river in between the biome. But yeah, I didn't know for the longest time that biomes were what were what bordered. Um, biomes bordered the rivers, or rivers bordered the biomes. Jeez. See, when you talk for this long, it starts to make your brain, like, not melt, but it, like, stops working properly. Okay, I hope we're out of this jungle soon. Jeez. I'm trying to show the struggle with you guys. I know that it's kind of boring to watch, but, I mean, th that's what I'm doing. I'm running through the jungle, guys. Okay. Well, let's just keep running. Um, I ran a little bit off camera. Not too far, but not so far. I think we're close to the edge. I think I, I got on top of something and saw the edge. Now, it may have just not been generated. There's a good point that was... There's a good uh, probability that that's the case. I feel like we should throw it, but I don't know how many blocks we've traveled. Like, again, I don't know. Let's throw it. Let's see. Okay, no. So, we're still traveling in this direction. Okay. Are you going to drop or break? Okay. You dropped. I think the other one may have dropped again, but I think it went underground, which is quite um, a hassle because I can't get it, which sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. I don't think we've ever repaired this axe. What does it even have? Efficiency 3, unbreaking 3, unbreaking 3, sharpness 3. Wow, so but this sword is really good. I definitely want to keep repairing this stuff. I want to be able to get mending um, with that. Hopefully the fishing rod helps. I feel like it will. I just haven't fished long enough to like get the mending book. But luck of the sea too, I think that's the highest luck of the sea you get. I'm really happy we got that. Because originally, you know, it said I'm breaking three was all we're getting. And that would have been quite sad. So let's fish a little bit here. Let's take a little break. Uh, kick our feet out and uh, just hang out. See if we can get anything. Probably not though, but maybe there's a maybe there's a mending book in here. If there is, I'm going to run back and like put it in my chest. Because I can't lose that. Or I'll just put it in a chest in the uh, end world hopefully we spawn actually on the main island sometimes you spawn off of the end island and that's kind of terrible like just trying to like build while the ender dragon's attacking you there's this guy i watched speed run the game recently it was pretty cool mm. ah, just another raw cod okay no more fishing no more fishing for neo all we got all we're getting is cod how many cod do we even have we have two cod, so we only fish twice. Okay, we'll fish one more time, but hopefully there's something. I just don't want to wait too long. I just feel like it takes so long to fish. But maybe I'm just impatient. I just don't want you guys to watch boring footage. Okay, there we go. A puffer fish. That's great. Okay. Ooh, melons. No, we don't need melons. Neo, stop. I love melons. I love collecting them, but I don't need any more melons, dude. Like, chill. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. It uh, looks like we're going to finally get out of the jungle. I'll throw it again just to confirm that we should still be going this way. Okay, so it looks like this way now. You're going to break? No. Okay. Maybe they don't break. I don't know. I thought that they did, but maybe they take like a good bit of uses. Um, but yeah, it'll be much easier and much faster to run through a non-jungle uh, biome. So I'm very happy about that. Um, we are about a thousand blocks away, so maybe within the next 500 blocks we'll encounter the stronghold. I'm not really sure. That looks cool. Like a, a big stone structure. But now we can run a lot faster. It makes this whole thing like a lot easier. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited to get to a stronghold. I haven't been to a stronghold since they first came out in 1.8, the adventure update, which was... Oh, when was that? I, feels, I think that was like four or five years ago, so I haven't been to the end in quite a while. I'm quite excited to see it again. I know there's like an end city now or something. They added structures to the end, which I think they spawn after you kill the ender dragon. I'm not really sure. Um, it's becoming night, which isn't, uh, isn't preferable. Let's make sure we're still going. Okay, we're still heading in the right direction. Come on. You gonna break? 
No? Okay, back to our hand you go. Let's just uh, keep a trucking and uh, keep this going. I could kill these, I could get some steak. That wouldn't be a bad move, would it? No? I don't think so. We have 48 steak, now we have 49. Can we get any more? <coughs> 51, cool. Ooh, a birch? A birch forest? This, no, that's not bad. I like birch forests. They added them pretty late in the game. I think at least. Uh, again, I don't know. They've added so many things over the years. Again, I've played this game for about nine years now. So the amount of stuff they add is just insane. Like they've they've supported this game very well. Not as well as Terraria. Terraria is the one game that I think has the best development team ever. I don't remember who it is or like I don't think it's even a studio. I think it's one person, 4J Studios. No, that's who took over Halo after uh wait. Who developed Halo? 343 Industries? They 343 Industries took it over. Maybe they were the first to do it. I don't know. Um, either way, I feel like I should get some more wool, or at least try to, because if you use a bed, you can take out like a third of the Ender Dragon's health. Um, I should have gotten some snowballs. Oh, I could get those very easy. You know what? We're going to do that real quick. I want to kill this skeleton, because I need arrows. Okay. You know what? Let's get... Um, Let's make a crafting bench, and then let's craft a little shovel here out of wood. Uh, we'll craft two shovels, and then hopefully we can get enough um, snowballs to sort of help us out in our fight. I know they're good because you could destroy those pillars with them, and uh, that's the goal here. We're going to try to kill the Ender Dragon first try in like four years or whenever they added the end. I don't know. I, I know it was the adventure update, but I don't remember how long ago that really was. I know I should. You guys think I'm, I'm a professional at Minecraft, but I'm really not. I'm just a dude who builds, you know, decent things, and people like watching them. Um, okay, there's a dark oak. That's not bad. I remember, I think I traveled all the way over here um, in the beginning of the series. I said I wanted to adventure and find out what was over here, and I'm pretty sure that's what I discovered was that, but I, I don't know for sure. Okay, let's get up here. This looks like a good spot. Let's get a wee bit of snow. Um, there's not a whole ton up here, but there should be enough for our purposes. Oh, I thought it'd be more instant than this. Then again, it is a wood tool. I don't know how many stacks of them I need. I remember watching, um, really? Really? I remember watching this guy speedrun the game. He beat the whole game in like seven minutes. Like everything from, from just spawning until he got the ender dragon. Like, I don't know how you do it. Maybe it was eight minutes. I don't know. Either way, that's like very impressive. Are those llamas? Cool. I think we can put carpet on them, someone said during the stream, and if you put carpet on them, they like, uh, okay, maybe that's enough. I don't know how many snowballs we're going to need, so I'm just going to get as many as I can um, with these two shovels, and then we should be good. I think we still need to travel the same direction, but um, I'll check in a second here, but I really do feel like snow is good, just because you can take out those end pillars with one snowball. And I would not want to, I don't want to waste my arrows. I want to be able to hit the ender dragon with my sword, but I don't think that's how it works. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Okay. Did I miss any snowballs? No. I don't, oh yeah. No, I did. Uh, I was about, I was going to say yes, but okay. So we're still traveling in this general direction. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, food, or are you going to regen? Come on, health, regen. Can I eat then? Okay, I just want to have a full bar of health. I don't want to worry about dying from that. Now, the cool thing about the Dark Oak Forest is if you start out above it, you can just like run through the whole thing on the tops of the trees, and it's kind of nice. I know it may be a little bit dark. I don't think it's that dark. I have the brightness on bright, so it shouldn't be too bad, um, but we should be nearing the stronghold now. I'd like to find a woodland mansion since we know where this Dark Oak is now, but I don't know where exactly. Uh, we'll also have to mark the coordinates. Unfortunately, this stronghold is going to be very far away, it seems. Creeper, stop that trajectory right now, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know you don't want to. Okay, there we go. We should be getting somewhat close, though. I mean, we're like... Yeah, we're like more than 2,000 blocks away from spawn, so I'm not sure why we haven't encountered it yet. Um, oh, yeah. Let me kill these skellies. Get their arrows. Get their arrows. We can't die out here, though. That's the one thing. That would be very unfortunate. Uh, there's a lot of zombies and stuff. We're going to let them fight a little bit. We're going to go take care of these mobs. Yeah, you guys waste all your energy on each other, you idiots. Alright. Wow, skellies? I feel like hyperspeed for a second. 
Do I have enough arrow? Yeah, I still I have a stack of 64 arrows now. Okay, that's good. Give me more. I didn't give me any more. Okay, let's throw this thing again. Hopefully it's... Yep. Okay, it's just gonna be this direction still. So where'd the thing go? Okay, I need it. Um, it's kind of, it kind of changed trajectories, I feel, a little bit. What? That's what I don't get. Why is a single player world lagging like that? Not fair. Not fair at all. That's the reason I play on single player, so I don't gotta deal with that. But then it's like, nope, you know what? We're just gonna lag anyways. I remember a long time ago, Paperbat VG made these Minecraft movies. Kind of like how I did. He just did, like, long episodes. And, uh, he did a 10 or a 10 hour one at some point. I don't know how he did that. This is already getting kind of hard. Not because, well, it's getting hard only because I've been filming so long and I just woke up, so I haven't done anything today except film. And, uh, oh, this looks beautiful over here. That flower forest on that mountainous area. I'm gonna throw it again because I'm paranoid that we're like super close. No, we're really not that close. Okay, don't explode. Nope, we're good. We're good. Where is it? Okay. So we'll just keep heading this direction. Hopefully we get there pretty soon. I think we will. That was satisfying. I did not take any fall damage. I know you guys are always screaming at me to eat, and I agree. I need to eat more. Um, okay, we don't need that right now. Let's just keep going. Hopefully it's in the flower forest. I won't be mad if it is. I just love how many flowers are here. I want to someday come back here and just collect like a ton of flowers. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. I love areas like this that look like the old generation. Just like the weird hanging stuff. See, that's the part of the generator that I wish they never would have messed with. I wish they would have always made it crazier than it is. They tried to go for realism, and I'm not sure why. I mean, this game is not supposed to be real at all. But they wanted to focus towards realism. Like, look how many flowers. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Uh, maybe it'll be in this plains biome up here. I'm not really sure. But we'll just uh, keep on a trucking. Hopefully we're getting closer and closer. I think we will be. I hope so. Okay, well, I answered a phone call from my mom and a creeper exploded, but I paused it during it. So that's why that happened. Um, we're getting close, though, to the stronghold. I think we are. I hope so. Um, hopefully we can get to the end um, in this episode. I feel like we're going to be able to. Let's throw another ender pearl down. It's, I feel like it's been night for too long, but that's just because we're traveling in it. Okay, so we went too far. We overshot it. Okay. We're getting close then. Okay, really zombies? I'm not I'm not playing this right now. Um, I don't know where it is, but I, I was going to say if it was in the flower forest, that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's going to be. So, dope. Let's get on top of this mountain. Let's throw it again. I'm actually super hyped because, again, I have not been to one of these in so long. Longer than I uh, care to admit, which I've already told you how long. But still longer than I care to admit. Okay. How far did we overshoot it? I don't know. Okay, so we need to keep going. Creeper, stop it. Please drop. Please drop. Okay, let's go. Okay, so maybe it's on top of this cool mountain over here. I'm not really sure. I don't know how far we overshot it, but we did by a good bit, I think. Um, hopefully not too far. I don't think it's too far. It'll never be too far. We can always run or walk. Uh, we're an hour and 30 minutes into this thing so far. Um, okay, so we're still going the right way. Cool. Nope, it broke. <laughs> so we have two left. That one lasted a good bit, way longer than I thought it would. So hopefully it doesn't like keep, hopefully that keeps keeps up, that like they last a while. And then eventually, okay, so it's like right here. Oh, it's breaking because that's where it is. Here we go, boys, let's do it. Oh, I don't have a shovel. Really, zombies, stop. You're not gonna ruin this. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop. That's stupid. You guys are you guys are stupid. Okay. We're gonna dig straight down. I hope this is where it is. I assume this is where it is. I don't think it can be anywhere else. Um, if we fall into lava, I will rage quit. I will delete my entire channel. I won't, but I'll be like I'll be so pissed if that happens. Let me fill let me make sure I get my coordinates. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Because I feel like Um uh, hold on. Okay. We're digging and we're digging. I think I hear things. I'm getting hyped. Oh, here we go. Yes, I'm not here, creeper. Don't blow up this stronghold, please. It's so pretty. Okay, so I need to make sure and look in all the chests because that's where our ender... I didn't bring blaze powder, did I? <sighs> Wait, maybe we don't need blaze powder? I hope we don't. Um, I'm just going to walk through this whole thing. Hopefully we find something in here cool. 
I don't know how many of these things are going to be silverfish. I don't really know. Again, I haven't been to one of these in so long. Oh, we need to break that, though, off the bat. I know that. Okay, so it looks like RNG is not on our side. Uh, we, we're going to need to find... I'm going to break this. Or, and I'm not going to break this. I'm going to fill this in because I hate that they put lava under it. Um, so we need to find how many right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so if we could find ten in the chests in here, we're good. I hope we can, but I don't know. Again, I don't know. We're just gonna run around in here for a bit, and uh, hopefully this is a big stronghold. I assume they're all. I assume they all have. Okay, that's not cool. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, hey, check this area out. Wait, there's nothing here. Um, what is this? Oh, this is one of those libraries. Ah, nice. Is it a library? I don't know. That's a lot of skeletons. That's like four or five skeletons in one spot. It's good for the arrows, though. Uh, which we aren't picking up. How long have we not been picking up arrows? Oh, no. Okay, but that's four more. That's not exactly that many more. Okay, really? We don't need any of that. That's dumb. Okay. So this is just a... I thought it was a library. Um, okay. Does that door lead to right there? Yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure of all this stuff, because again, I, I'm not I'm not sure about the strong. You guys might be yelling at me like Neo, you're doing it wrong. I hope I'm not. Oh no. Okay, so it looks like they made them a little bit bigger, which is nice. The strongholds used to be so sad and like small. It was kind of depressing. There was nothing in them, but it looks like they made them look a little bit better, which is nice. Because they always used to look like they were missing something. And I know I'm just kind of running around with the, like a chicken with my head cut off because truthfully, I don't know where. I'm gonna find these ender pearls. I assume just somewhere in here. Okay, a normal door. That leads to the same spot. That leads, I don't know where it leads, but we'll find out. Okay, you know what? We're breaking down doors. That's the point we're at. I hope we can find enough ender pearls here. I don't know, they, it, it's random, I guess, if they spawn enough of them. Um, either way, it's gonna really suck if I have to run all the way back to get them. But hopefully we find enough. If not, I'm gonna be like very upset because then we have to run all the way back, go hunt for like 10 ender pearls, make 10 eye of enders, run 2,500 blocks, and then come back here. But hey, you know what? If we gotta do it, we gotta do it. We gotta do it for the fans, guys. We gotta do it for the fans. Okay, this stronghold is terrible. There's like nothing here. You guys should let me know in the comments if you guys are still watching. Is this normal for strongholds to suck this much? Or is this not a bad one at all? I don't know. I just hope that I find it soon. I was so hyped to actually kill the dragon. I probably should have prepped a wee bit more. <laughs> Seeing as how my preparation was grabbing a few things on a whim. And then going with it. I don't know. I feel like you should be able to do... I feel like you should be able to do that though. Um, but I don't know. That's just me. Really? No more? No ender pearls at all? Really? Just a chest with some apples and horse armor. Okay, well. Nope, that's gonna blow up. Okay. That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all in the name of the game, guys. Okay, and there's nothing here. Of course. Of course. Aw, oh, come on. There's gotta be something here. Um, I just wanna make sure. I don't even know why I checked it. I know I wouldn't have missed that, but you never know, guys. That's just the one area room, right? Okay. Keep on a trucking. Hopefully we find it. I know I've said that like 80 times. Okay, there's nothing there. It looks like that's all the stronghold. I don't unless there's a part I missed, but I doubt I missed a big part of it like that. Um, no, I didn't. Well, this is where the end portal is. Unfortunately, we don't have enough stuff. Can we break these? I don't. I was gonna say I don't think you can. Uh, let me put the. I'll put it back how it was. Don't worry, guys. Okay. Okay, um, so we need to find ender pearls. We can't like I was gonna say we could just kill endermen around here and wait But I don't think that's possible because we need to actually have uh, Blaze powder to make them and it's raining too. It's a sad day in Minecraft. Oh, we didn't go down here Because I was gonna say I thought strongholds like were required to spawn with ooh, a fountain. That's nice I thought they were required to spawn with enough stuff. I don't want to go down there just yet with enough stuff to like feed the ender portal or whatever you'd say I'm not really oh this is the library I was looking for because you get all these books so I might as well break it books empty map okay well none of that is helpful 
I don't know why it keeps giving me stuff like that. Um, I can take the wool out and that. I just want to get these books because, I don't know. I spent so long trying to get books the first time that I feel like it'd be kind of sacrilegious to not at least grab most of these. Because there's so many. I guess you could, if you could never find cows, you could just go to a stronghold and just wreck their uh, library. But I don't, I don't know why you'd do that. I mean, I, you're always going to find enough eventually. Oh, and I need string. Potentially. We'll just grab the string, though. Um, we have so much of it. I don't know why we never grabbed it in the mine shaft. I feel like we did a little bit, but you don't really use string for that much. We already have two stacks of books. You know what? That's enough books. That's enough books. We don't need more than that. Is there a chest up here? Um, doesn't look like it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, is there a path over here? Yes. Still nothing. Okay. That's nice. Is there a path over here? So something? Maybe? I don't know. Can chests spawn here? That's why I keep looking in those areas. Like, again, I'm so new. Ooh. That's nice. Efficiency 3. Piercing 4. Knockback 2. Is this piercing? Power 1. Well, I feel like we should enchant that. Efficiency 3, that's definitely a good book. We'll take that over to Raw Cod. Another empty map. More books. Um, I don't know how these chests spawn in here. I don't know if like more than one can spawn, so that's why I'm walking through here. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Stop it. Come. Oh, I walked into another one. I'm funny. Um, I, again, so I'm just checking this out. I know you guys might be yelling at me, but again, I'm so new to this. But maybe it's fun to watch someone who's not like an expert play. Okay. I mean, I feel like I should be an expert. I run a Minecraft YouTube channel. That's like the one thing I should be good at, right? Minecraft? Come on, guys. Come on. Let's not fight each other. Fight me so I can get your arrows. Okay, that's a loop. <laughs> this this stronghold is crazy. We haven't gotten any Eye of Enders. And I I remember watching the this, this guy speedrun the game, and he got all the, all the Eye of Enders he needed in, like, two chests. And I was like, what? Okay, what is that? That that looks oddly suspicious. Oh, oh no. Okay. No, that was where, okay. So it's not that suspicious. Um, what's in here? It's gonna be nothing, right? Yeah, nothing. Thank you, game, for, the, for adding that in. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, a door. So strongholds are pretty big. Oh no. Which is nice. I mean, I like strongholds. They're fun to explore. Okay, so this is all, okay. Anything in here? No, another dead end. Um, okay, let's eat this. I really like this book though that we have. This piercing four, knockback two, power two. I feel like I could really, really use that. Efficiency three is also incredible. So I'm glad we have those things. Um, how many arrows do we have? 64 and nine, that's not, that's not good. Okay, that's another dead end, okay. So this area is all dead end. Let's go back. Um, I'm just trying to light up the, all the areas in here. That way I sort of know where I've been. I'm going to use that to determine where I've been. But this was just one of the many, many branches. There was like a ton. I don't even know if that's where we came from or if we came from another way. I honestly don't know anymore. Um, I think we came from... No, it couldn't have been from over here. We're going to run out of torches, though. And that's not, that's not going to be good. We have wood. We can always find coal. Uh, we don't have Fortune 3 anymore, but, nah, it'll be okay. Um, yeah, this, oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This thing is so big. I don't know where, okay, so that was all of this area. So, I need to, like, denote that that was done. We don't need three torches, but we'll put one right there. So, that area is, uh, cleared. And, again, no eyes of enders there, which is nice, I guess. I'm not really sure. Okay, Skelly, not a good time. I'm not in the best mood. I came all the way here to explore, and you guys aren't providing anything that you promised. So I'm not a, I'm not a happy customer at this point. I'd like to file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau about your uh, your scummy stronghold and that, that there's no eyes of Ender in here because that's the one thing you're supposed to have in your chests. Really? No eyes of Ender? Are you kidding me? So mad I could kill a creeper. Really? Piercing for channeling. Sharpness one. Diamond horse armor? I feel like that's sought after, so we'll take it. But another ender pearl, that's great. But it's not an eye of ender. It's just a normal ender pearl. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting scammed here, guys. 
Like it was. <laughs> that's so funny when they do that. I feel like I'm legitimately like, like I'm getting scammed or something because I'm supposed to have. Um, I, sp I thought I was supposed to get enough freaking eyes of Enders. I don't know. You know, we're just gonna keep running around in here, and uh, hopefully we find one or ten. I don't know if we're gonna ever find ten though, but we need ten to make this work. I will not leave here until I acquire ten Ender pearls. Or ten eyes of enders. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. What is all this? What is this? Diamonds? No, no diamonds. Okay, that's fine. Hey, come on, Spoder. Come on down. You know you want to. There you go. Bad boy. Or I was gonna say good boy, but not good. Spoders are bad. Very, very bad. Okay, nothing over there. I assume there's nothing here unless it's bamboozling me. Yep, absolutely nothing. Okay, we'll just keep running through it, guys. Again, I'm going to try to film this whole thing, because, like, wait, this is a big point for us. You know, finding a stronghold, it's a really good point. I guess if we can't get to the end, we can always just take a picture of the end portal and then save that for another episode or something. But I felt like, you know, since this is a 300k special, we should do something super special. But the game is not allowing us to do that with these lack of chests. First of all, there's not that many. Second of all, what are in these chests is absolute trash. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. What's over here? Nothing. Over here? Well, that's where we just were, I think. Hmm. 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 It's not like the villager. Okay, let's just go over here. Um, Let's go back to the main part of the stronghold, which I believe is this door right here. Okay, skeleton. Not cool. I just need your arrows, though. That's what I'm really trying to get. They give you a lot of bones, but not a lot of arrows. Okay, we've been here. We have not been here. I hear an enderman okay I gotta find the enderman oh we don't have any more torches are you kidding me okay you know what we'll put it right here we'll put this in our second in no more torches for us we're just gonna run around and uh, hope we don't run in the run run into the same spots and uh, waste our time I don't think we will I'm pretty good about tracking where I've been yeah there's nothing there okay so that's done for um, so that means we should go up here Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm I see you're nothing and I raise you nothing because there's nothing here this is absolute this is the worst again I, I think I'm gonna fire file an official complaint with the Better Business Bureau about this whole place because we're getting scammed like we're getting scammed like to the highest of degrees the one place that's supposed to have chests with eyes of enders we're getting none you're getting one star on Yelp stronghold you're getting absolutely one star. I feel like you guys are going to yell at me. You're like, Neo, they were blah, blah, blah. They're in here. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know. So I don't know. Like, I assume they're supposed to be somewhere. Oh, I thought I already hit it twice. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. Whoopsies. Oh, no. Okay, well, well, maybe over here? I mean, you never know. This this stronghold is definitely huge. Maybe they're meant to be huge. I don't know how big they are, truthfully. I'll break the door down. Don't even care. No respect. I got no respect for your shoddiness. Where did my... Where did my one tor... Oh, where did my one torch go? I had a torch. It was in my hand. What? Oh, it went right there. Okay, I need to grab that. There we go. No, I don't want this. I want the snowballs. Thank you. But yeah, we got this. I don't know. What is, uh... What does channeling do? Piercing four. It says power. I don't know what piercing is. I think piercing is for a trident. So maybe we should try to find a trident now. I'm not really sure. Uh, is there any chests in here? No. No. Is this the scam area again? I really feel like it is. No, this is a separate scam area. Wow, that's a lot of them. Okay, you know what? We're going to break the door down. Just so we can get their arrows. What did I just do? Okay, so if I click on these blocks randomly, eventually, did I get any more arrows? I have 14. Let's kill two more skellies. Let's see how many arrows we get. Okay, so we had 14, and now we have 14. See, they don't ever spawn that many arrows, I feel, but maybe that's just me. You know, it could just be me. Um, okay, so there's no, absolutely nothing over here. We do have coal, though. I can't ignore the coal. That way we at least have some torches some semblance of humanity okay we'll put those there sticks up I didn't even start running dude Neo you're you're trash dude 
I can't even find the one thing that's supposed to be here. I feel like they're supposed to be here. I may be completely wrong. Um, because it only said you need like four or so like inner pearls to go to the end. Because you just get enough in the stronghold to where it doesn't matter. But apparently that's just not true. Apparently that's just not true. Um, okay, hold on. Give me a second. Now I know I said I'd do a three hour special. And I'm still planning on doing that. But I'm only going to record... Um, until my hard drive runs out of space. I also have to be able to keep the rendered video um, on that same hard drive because I don't have like another hard drive. Is this, is this where I came down? It is, okay. Well, we've come full circle it appears and uh, we still don't have near enough ender pearls to do absolutely cr like, like, like anything. So I guess we're just gonna leave with, uh, with a sad look on our face because we came like 3,000 blocks and uh, we, we got nothing for it. Unless I missed some areas. There's a good chance I missed something here. Um, I'm going to do a little, little more exploring and hopefully we find some stuff. But, huh, you know, that just kind of sucks. I really thought that we were just going to come here and all was going to be easy. All was going to be well. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So, um, let me do a little bit more exploring. Maybe there's something here. Surely there's something. I mean, we haven't found any Eyes of Enders. Like, absolutely none. But at least we know how many we need. We need 10, and then we should be good to go there. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, if I open these doors, we've already explored it. Okay, let's just go back to our uh, to our portal. Uh, not to the portal, but let's just go back and uh, head back home, I guess. That makes me kind of sad, honestly. I thought we were going to do that. Maybe we should go to the stronghold, fight some more withers or something. I'm not really sure. Where's that hole? Where's the hole that leads to our uh, to our real world? Did I explore this? I don't think so. Yeah, I did. It's in here, right? Oh, no. I'm completely lost now. No, it's right here. Okay. Mm, I don't even think we have enough blocks to get up here. Anyways, we're just going to go back up. I'm sorry, guys, that we couldn't find it at this point. Again, we do have the coordinates, so if I ask what they are, it's 854, 2447. Um, no, that's not what I want. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. I was going to say, we'll just use oak logs, but... Will these come up with us if we do it like this? Eventually, maybe? Okay, five bread, we don't really need that. We did get some good enchanting books though, and diamond horse armor, which I guess is sort of helpful. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk back off camera. I'm definitely not gonna go back on camera because that would just be terrible to do and show you guys because we just spent so much time exploring. So let me get back to my main area. Maybe we'll build a few buildings and whatnot for the last hour or so. Um, I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. I will see you guys when we get back to the house. <sighs> it was a long journey, <laughs> but we're finally back. Um, I want to, I, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm, I'm conflicted because I want to go and I want to get all that fancy stuff, but at the same time, I'm kind of burnt out of traveling, so I don't know. Uh, we'll put these snowballs in here. I wanted to put all this stuff in my enchanting uh, table area finally because we didn't really ever fill it up with the books like we said we were. We went over there, we put them down, but we never got them in the right spot. So let's get over here and uh, let's put these books up and uh, let's start a little bit of a building. I don't I don't really know. I may not even build. I may fish for a bit. I'm not sure. We'll put the diamond horse armor in here. We'll put all the snowballs and we'll put the ender pearls. Why not? Um, but yeah, let's just do a little bit of fishing. Um, I feel like I should be able to, I should do a question and answer video at some point, you know, you can, blow, whatever, you know what, I don't even care, I'm just so mad that I don't even care, you can go ahead and blow up, um, we'll do a little bit of fishing, I don't really know what to talk about, um, I could talk about where I got my name, because I talked about that on stream, so, I used to play with these spherical neodymium magnets, right, and they were called the Neo Cube, and I actually wanted to make tutorials on those, uh, it sounds so crazy, it sounds so scary, uh, but I wanted to make tutorials on how to build things for those uh, magnets, and so I named my channel. I started a channel. I called it the Neo Cubist, and that's where we are today on the same channel. I created that in 2010 or 11, so I've had the channel for about eight years, but I've only recorded Minecraft for like six. Thank you for stopping. Does that mean the sun is setting? No, I really don't know what that means. Oh, there's the mending. Nope, that's not mending. I hope we get mending at some point. I really feel like we should. I thought that's what luck of the sea did. Maybe it just makes the fish come to your bobber quicker. I don't know. I felt like that's what should happen, but you know, again, I don't know. Um, hmm. 
Maybe we'll throw it over here. I don't know. I, more than anything, I want to get a new pick, and I want to enchant it. So I'm going to... Um, okay, we'll do a little AFK time off. Well, you guys won't see it. But I'm just going to wait in the mob spawner, get a few mobs spawned. You know how I say a few, and then we get a few. Uh, we'll just get a few mobs spawned, and then we'll come right back. Okay, before I do anything, um, I may have waited too long. Because I think there's too many, and I think they started to kill. Like, they started to die because there's so many. So hopefully we get a good bit of zombies from this. Or a good bit of XP. And I think we'll get more than uh, 30 levels. This is probably the most that there's ever been in here. Again, I'm not sure about that. I don't I don't know. But I waited for like 45 minutes or something. I'm trying to make this recording um, happen today. But again, I'm not sure. It may come out tomorrow. I really don't know. We'll just have to see how everything goes. I want to get them on fire. I feel like that helps kill them. Boom. 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 This probably rips through my uh, sword durability, but hey, it's good because it's 4 XP. Now, we're going to enchant that diamond pick and hopefully get a decent enchant on it and then go mining a little bit. Uh, why? I don't know. I just like mining, honestly. So I feel like we should go mine a wee bit. I hate these babies. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. Okay, is that it? Are we good? Are we finally good? <sighs> nice. Okay. Um, let's put up this, 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 this. We need the air. We'll keep the arrows on us. Um, what else came from this? It's chicken and stuff. I don't know why they drop chicken sometimes. I think it's because some of them spawn and they have a... Uh, I feel like we should get more tools. Okay, well, we have 33 levels. Um, that should be good. Let's go over here. Let's enchant this. We never really made this look better. Maybe we should spend time, like, fixing, doing a little TLC on some stuff. Um, because in this village, I feel like it should be good. We don't have any buildings to populate it just yet. But I'm feeling a little... I'm not, I'm not feeling burnt out. It's just I've been recording so long. And it's not like I record everything I do. So it takes a long time to get, like, three hours of footage. So I really do hope you guys are appreciating this. If you haven't left a like yet and you don't normally leave likes on videos... Um, if you wouldn't mind, please, please, please leaving a like. Where is that diamond pick? I thought I left it in here. Okay, well, we'll go back and get it. But, yeah, if you guys haven't left a like on the video yet and you're still watching and you're not subscribed, you should definitely subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you're notified when I start streaming. And, uh, yeah, but let's get over here. And uh, hopefully we can find something uh, or get something good on our pick. I'm sure we can. I, I swear I made a fresh diamond pick. No, I just made I just put three diamonds in my inventory. That's right. And I had one on me. Um this stuff's all full, but we'll put it up later. Uh good luck. There we go. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. Every time I click now, I'm gonna say good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Maybe we'll get like fortune three, unbreaking three, efficiency five. I don't think you can get efficiency five off the bat. Um, we did get efficiency three in there, so we can we can add that book to it. Actually, that that'll be nice. Um, okay, twenty eight obsidian. Let's do it. What are we gonna get? What does it say? Efficiency four. Efficiency four. Unbreaking three. Okay, so that's not bad at all. If I were to combine um, my efficiency three book, is there anything else in here? Fortune one. Unbreaking two. Piercing. I don't need any of that. Sharpness. I don't need that. There's, is there any efficiency? Efficiency? No, that's impaling three. Okay, so if I combine this pickaxe with this book, do I get efficiency five? No, nothing changes, so I don't want to waste that. Um, that is a good pickaxe, although it doesn't help us get diamonds, really. Um, hopefully, eventually, we can get something for it. Uh, we'll leave that in there. Um, but yeah, we got a good pick. Uh, efficiency four is nice, and breaking three is always nice. Uh, makes me kind of sad that we didn't get it, but it's okay. Let's organize these snowballs a little bit better. I think what I need to do is eat in real life. I think that will make this a lot easier to record. Uh, we'll put the books in the corner. I like to just sort of make things not touching. I'm OCD about that. Um, I'll put iron in here. Why not? Okay, let's do a little bit of fishing, and uh, let's see if we can get anything. I'm trying to get mending because I really want it for the pickaxe, but I feel like it might take a good bit to fish, but I don't know. Um... I wish people, I wish I had a list of questions. If you guys want to ask any questions on here for the question and answer, I may end up answering them in the comments because I forgot that I said I'm asking for questions. But if you guys want to ask me questions, I'm more than happy to answer anything. Like, especially in the comments. Um, come on. There's got to be something. Come on. Don't make the fans wait. There we go. Mending? Question mark? No. 
It's luck of the sea. This is this trash. We're not getting anything. I thought luck of the sea. You guys made it seem. Actually, I'm not gonna blame it on you guys. I know you can get mending from this. I think it just honestly takes a good bit. No, another freaking salmon. Is this salmon? Yeah, raw salmon. We got raw salmon, raw cod, but nothing good yet. It may be because this isn't deep enough. Maybe we have to fish in the actual ocean. It does say luck of the sea, but I don't think that's literal. I don't, well, it isn't even a sea, that would be an ocean. Actually, I don't know. What is the salinity of Minecraft oceans? I guess we'll never know. Um, I could add some mossy cobblestone to that. You guys made some good points adding stairs for indents, uh, mossy cobble and whatnot. Now, eventually, I'm sure I'll make it look better, but I'm kind of burnt out of that wall. That was one of those pro, sorry, my chair squeaks if I shake my legs. I need to get a new chair. I have like the cheapest chair possible. I have not bought a new chair. Chairs are very expensive and I want to save up and get like a nice chair that I can keep and eventually move to a house when I get a house and that would be very nice. Okay, last fish of the night and nothing. So we haven't gotten like any items or anything. I feel like, I feel like that's weird. Maybe luck of the sea isn't what we need. Maybe we need something else. Uh, but we do have a new pick. We didn't name it. I don't feel like it's worthy of being named until we get something special on it. Uh, mending is what I really want to get more than anything, but that's just because that literally means infinite tool So like it's literally an infinite tool and that is so appealing to me I've always loved things like that that regen just because I feel like now I don't have to get another one And this is like the one tool to want the one tool. I will end up with which is nice Okay, we're officially at the two hour mark uh, What I will fill this last hour with I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, Maybe a little bit of fishing a little bit of building a little bit of mining i um, not really sure. I don't have any big projects in mind. Maybe building a treehouse up there is a good idea. I'm not really sure. I don't have any like treehouse designs in my head at this moment, but we have so much jungle wood that I think we could end up building something pretty cool. I mean, I always build stuff that looks decent. I like to think, except that portal over there. I need to fix that. <gasps> what did I get? Unbreaking three? I mean, that's, that's not bad, I guess. Okay. So cool. At least we know we can get that enchanted stuff. I'm gonna fish for a good bit. Hopefully we find something. And I also have to have my air conditioner off for three hours, which means it gets hot eventually. Uh, Lauren, what temperature is it in here? Lauren? Oh, I think she's asleep. Well, Lauren's my girlfriend, if you guys didn't know. You get to talk to her on the stream. She's usually in a Discord with me, and you guys can just sort of chit-chat with her, too. Uh, let me, is she asleep? Okay, well, it's 75 degrees in here. She's, she's listening to an audiobook. I thought she was asleep, because I walked in there, and she well, I said something, but uh, she just listened to an audiobook, so I was worried. You know, I always get paranoid. Like, did she die? Probably not. I don't think people die <laughs> very often, especially at our age. We're like, she's 19, I'm 20, so I don't think we're going to die yet. I hope not. Um, okay, I'm gonna fish a little bit more. I know it's not the most exciting thing. I'm trying to find footage to film. I'm feeling a little burnout because we filmed for like three hours, and I promised I'd do a three hour thing, so I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm a man of my word, so I'm not gonna, not gonna cut it out. Um, if I find something fun to do, it'll be a lot better, and I feel like something fun to do would be building something, since that's like where my channel began, and I'm always good at building. Um, but yeah. Um, I, I like all this water in here, but at the same time, it doesn't leave a whole lot of area for stuff. Okay, how much more fish am I going to get? Nah, we're good. Uh, I'm going to grab some dirt, which I hope we have a bunch of, and I'm going to fill in where all the water is. Now, my, some of you may not like that, but the issue I'm having is that I don't have any room to add any, uh, any buildings because it's all just spooky noise. Um, it's all just like... I mean, some of it's grass, like this area over here is all sugar cane, but like this huge area over here is just water, and like that area is kind of filled, so I want to be able to add things all throughout here. I, I, of course, I'm going to leave a little bit of water since that's like the basis of this was like an island, so I still want to leave a little bit of water, like something like that's fine, and I'm just going to fill in all this. So let me see if I have more dirt. I feel like I do in a chest, uh, no, I know I have more dirt in a chest in here. Uh, the only question is, how much dirt does Neo have? Um, okay, that should be enough. Yeah, that, that if that's not enough, then um, I don't know. I feel like that's definitely enough, but I'll just fill this in and sort of talk. Uh, but yeah, I took a break a long time ago from YouTube, it feels like a long time ago. It was like five or six months ago. Um, I took like a six month, seven month, eight month break 
and I thought my channel was dead forever and then uh, I started uploading again just as like a just like a, a last attempt to like make my channel grow again and it happened and like I had no idea that it was gonna happen and like I'm not growing at some like insane rate or whatever I mean we're growing at a good steady rate which is what I want uh, but I never thought I'd ever reach 300,000 subscribers like I, I gotta be honest guys like I never thought that would happen like I really didn't think it would happen and uh, it does make me very happy that I'm at that point um, but the thing is I want to keep this going so I'm gonna try not to burn myself out um, I'm not getting bored of this survival world at all I just can typically only play a game now that I'm older unless I'm recording which is weird that I'm feeling this but I can usually only play for like two or three hours before well, not two or three. Well, two or three hours of recording, but I've already played two or three hours. Like, it's 3 p.m. I started recording at, like, 12.30. So, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm just going to keep placing all this dirt and stuff. And, uh, hopefully everything's good. Hopefully this, uh, will turn into grass before too long. We'll go mine after this. Um, I don't want to fill in all this on camera. But at the same time, it's a three-hour movie, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Um, if I do this off camera, it's just going to take so much time, and uh, that's time that, well, I don't know. This is a pretty good size area. I'm just trying to think of things to talk about. I've been talking for so long, I don't even know. You guys never hear me like this. I usually always have something to say. Um, hmm. What do, you, what do you guys think about Bran? Is Bran actually cereal? Because I heard that in SpongeBob SquarePants. So this may not be enough dirt. I may have just straight underestimated how big this thing is. I know you guys said you wanted me to make it deeper, but if you want me to build things in this village, we can't have this entire area just be straight water. So I'm gonna have to drill this out. I, what I may do after this is clear out all the trees because I definitely, I don't want all these big jungle trees. These for sure I want gone. But like those big jungle trees, I don't know. I feel like they're just, it's just like, I want it to feel more civilized. Uh, eventually I want to have proper paths in here with like cobblestone and like, like uh, stairs, you know, that make it look like little like indents, maybe some buttons on the floor look like rocks. So I want to go all out with this village. I don't want it to be some shoddy village. No, I've never really built a village before, if I'm honest. Like a group of buildings that are in the same sort of style and are all connected. That's what I consider a village. Um, and I've definitely never artificially like added villagers into a village. Uh, nor have I revamped a village before. So maybe those are some things that I'll get to uh, have a bunch of fun with. Uh, other than that, I really just want to get mending. I really wish I could maybe make an AFK fish farm and then just try to get it off camera I feel like that's gonna be our best course of action uh, We're 27 episodes in so the fact that we already found the stronghold is good. I think again Like I don't have much basis of comparison to go off of I don't watch I used to watch a whole lot of survival series, but not anymore Especially since I'm making one I feel like I don't want to watch anyone and like steal their ideas for what they're doing But maybe I should do that and help get some inspiration for this world but yeah let me know in the comments like what you guys are wanting to see uh, because that always helps me now that comment suggestion board I never updated it since like episode 9 I really need to more than anything I just really need dirt I don't think we have any more yeah I think we're I think we're out of dirt unfortunately um, well we'll just fill in the most that we can and we'll call it good for now because I know you guys don't want to watch me place dirt I bet you a bunch of people that were watching uh, the episode. I was about to say watching the stream right now just left. No, a bunch of people that were watching me probably just left. I mean, I don't blame them. Like, I'm just mining uh, stuff. We might as well get this. It's been like here for so long. It's just bothering me. We should get the sugar cane too. I got really good at breaking wheat after getting those 700 cows, let me tell you. I don't know if you guys know. I mean, it took like an all-nighter. It was, it was absolutely crazy. Uh, the next day was a fun. It was very sleepy. And all I could think about was That's all I like that was going through my head the whole day You know when you get a song stuck in your head, it's like that but with a cow's moo Yeah, that's kind of scary isn't it? Um, Let's go get the sugar cane after this. I feel like I should make an auto farm But I don't remember how maybe it'd be fun to design one um, I was about to say how did I not get enough seeds? It could be fun to design one, but I don't know how to at all I know to use pistons, hoppers, stuff like that, but beyond that, it's beyond me. Maybe we should put fishing stuff in here. Uh, I don't want any of that stuff. Um, leather, don't need that. I have enough pork chop. Flint, 
Uh, should be good. We'll, we'll keep the wood in here. I know I keep like populating these chests with crap, but like, I don't know. I'm not a super organ. I, I, I am a super organized person in real life, but in the game, I feel like I can finally not be because it's a video game. Look at this. You can break three rows at once. Isn't that sick? So you can like, it's like max efficiency. I tried to like, oh, during um, the live stream, which I know I said I played on a separate world, I didn't for the first one. All I did was just do some basic like maintenance stuff, but I did do a little bit of building and I tried to make this uh, automatic sugarcane farm over here. <laughs> it's not automatic, it just kind of pushes it over and doesn't collect anything. But I don't know how to like automate that. I think you need water to flow into the hopper because I don't know. I don't know how you automate a sugarcane farm. Um, I'm sure you guys will spam me with the comments, so thank you. I'll watch all the things you guys send and then I'll be good at making one. Uh, but stuff like that, I'm not good with redstone. I used to be okay at it because of my cousin, but I really don't think I'm very skilled with redstone anymore. Um, okay, let's put all this up. Oh, we had dirt in here. That's okay. What else do we have here? Arrows? A bed? Huh. Those are some those are some suspicious materials, Neo. How'd you get those, huh? How'd you get a yellow bed? I think it was from the village, actually. Pretty sure I, like, killed them and took their stuff. I'm gonna go grab torches, because I remember making them and then putting extra torches, like a stack of them in here. Maybe not a whole stack, but close to it? Maybe? Uh... Didn't I know those? Were they lanterns? No. Okay. They were torches. We'll, we'll trade it with the little four stack. That's fair, right? Take 64, give back four. Okay. Well, I'll meet you guys down in the mine. It's odd. I know I said I'd skip it. Um, more than anything, I just want to check the footage. We're at two hours and ten minutes, so I think we can mine for a good bit of the rest of it. Um, I just thought of a good title. I'm going to do three, hour, three hours for 300k. Something like that. So if you hear my voice start to waver and fade, probably because it is wavering and fading. Um, recording for three hours? Oh no, this place isn't lit up. No, we gotta run, we gotta run. Really, dude, on the door, are you s Creepers are so mean, they don't have, they have no respect. I'm, I'm telling you guys, no respect at all. Okay, let's go ahead and light up all this. Where did I put it here? Oh, that's where the lectern is. Okay, interesting. Um, I do know where the torches were on this uh, this uh, X-Rise shrine, so we'll go ahead and put these here. And he wasn't on this world or anything, I just built this for him. X-Rise Lamb Feast Man Diamond. Color Pixel 19. It looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if you guys want something like that, all you gotta do- What are you doing in here, chicken? <laughs> you got yourself a little bit stuck, didn't you, big boy? Oh, here, I'll help him out. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. Just so you don't get stuck in there again. Ah, oh, the creeper blew up my aesthetic fence too. I'm unhappy. I'm gonna run in here and creepers are just gonna keep blowing up. That's okay. You know what? It's okay. They're just creepers. They can't really damage me and I don't really care about it. Oh, I know what I did. Uh, I still have those down because of... Oh, okay. That's a lot of creepers. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay if they blow up though. It's not really a big deal. This isn't a quarry. So I'm not really worried. If it just makes it easier because I don't have to kill them. Um, okay, torch. Oh, we did not put one over here. Maybe I did. Oh, I bet I did, but the creeper just blew up. Looks like he blew up his friend. He dropped the gunpowder, so that's interesting. So if we find diamonds now, though, I don't even really want to mine, because if I find diamonds, I don't have that fortune anymore. It looks like, yeah, creeper blew up right there, too. I remember this is where I started branch mining, because I dug out this whole thing for cobble, and I've already used all that cobble, so we'll go branch mine. Well, no. I'm gonna try to see I want to fish but I feel like there's something wrong with fishing and I can't ask you guys like live because this is not a stream but do you guys like do you like seeing fishing just not too much of it maybe oh thank you for the egg I'm making this my chicken farm I'm just like throwing chickens down in here it happened because uh, off camera one time when I was mining all I did was throw like a chicken and uh, we don't need these goals anymore we've already done all of them hi subs comment whenever you see me yeah you guys might have already commented I'm not sure. I don't really think anyone picked up on it. They probably just thought it was something like funny that I left there, but no, it's not. Uh, let me get back up here. Let me go grab my fishing pole. And I know I just asked, like, do you guys like fishing? And I'm just going to fish anyways. Um, I want to build like a fishing hut because you guys said that that's a good idea. I also want to extend this uh, 
some of the water down to be a little bit deeper and make it into a fancy little fishing pond. That, that actually, that's cool. Hold on. We'll do that real quick. Um, so I want some glowstone. Um, I need an axe or a shovel, but I don't think I have, I have iron shovels, so I'm not going to make a diamond one. Um, sugar cane, we don't need that. I want to put some bamboo around it, maybe some sugar cane. I'm trying to make it look fancy. Um, here, we'll grab some wood. That should be good. We have a ton of fence. We'll grab fence. We'll grab scaffolding. We may need scaffolding. We'll grab lanterns, which I think we have more of in the rare chest. Uh, we'll grab some chiseled bricks. Dispensers, furnaces, sure. Nether brick, why not? I don't know if all these things can be used. Um, I was looking at this alive plantage. I wanted to see if there's anything in here we could really plant, but I don't think. No. Okay. Let's sleep. Sorry, I like burped in the middle of saying let's sleep, but let's sleep and then let's go down there and do that. Ah, uh, another beautiful day in Minecraft, yeah. This game really is beautiful, honestly. I, every every morning I wake up and I look out that window and I think, wow, it's a beautiful world, huh? And we'll make this our little fishing pond over here. Um, I just kind of want to extend it more into the ground because I feel like it's not very deep, especially if it's going to be a fishing hole for proper fishing this. Fishing this totally being a word. Quote me on that. It's a word. Fishing this has to be a word. I'm kidding. I know it's not a word. I'm a very sarcastic person. Me and both my girlfriend. We were in separate like classes. She was like a, you know, she was a year below me, and uh, she got most sarcastic in the yearbook out of like a huge high school. These are like a graduating class. I don't remember how many, but it's a pretty big one, like a 3A I think. And uh, she got most sarcastic, and I also got most sarcastic, and. I think that's pretty good, right? Like, pretty cool. I mean, most people don't get most sarcastic because they're not sarcastic. I'm truly, like, I'm so sarcastic. And it's not a good thing. It's a bad thing in a lot of cases because a lot of people don't get it and they just think I'm being, like, rude. But in reality, it's just, like, I'm just, I'm just sarcastic. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. It's just kind of how I am. Um, so hopefully we can make this fishing pond look good. I'm not a huge fan of the materials that are in here. I'd like to put cobblestone in here, but I feel like that's a project that would take so long. But yeah, it feels good to be actually doing something. I think that's why I was getting bored. I wasn't like building anything. That's always what I've enjoyed the most. Hence my channel. It's all houses. Um, but yeah, I really, I just couldn't think of anything good recently to build. But I think I have a few ideas in the pipeline that are going to be coming out pretty soon that look good. I'm not sure. I haven't built them yet, but they're in my mind. And usually I can tell by like how they are in my mind if they're gonna be good or not so should be pretty cool um okay so it looks like we're getting down i don't know if i i don't think it needs to go any deeper than this this is already pretty deep okay that's not what i wanted to do it's okay actually makes it look really nice and we can swim up for air really soon boom see air is easy to get uh we'll go, we'll go one layer down just another one i feel like that should be the very bottom though the stone I don't think it should go any deeper than that. And what's cool now is you can actually have fence. Oh, you can actually have fence and water, and it doesn't take up the whole block and make it look like trash, which is really nice. That's what, that's one of my favorite things about the aquatic update was fixing uh, the issue where you couldn't have anything underwater. That was broken for so many years. I don't know why they never fixed it, but they did, and that's good. Okay, get enough bubbles. I should be okay. Go ahead and break this, this, and then this. And then let's mine a few blocks down here. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's a fast pickaxe. Even underwater, it's like the full speed of diamond. Okay, I just wanna put a few at the very bottom. We'll add more. Um, we'll add more like, I don't know, like right here or something. I could just swim up for air. No, I did, I'm not staying up long enough, am I? I keep thinking that it's like, you know, the old mechanics where it instantly uh, revitalized you or whatever, but now it just, it doesn't do that. But this should look pretty cool. I, I always like water with a, I can't put it right there. No, I have to put it right here. I always liked water that had glowstone in it. I always thought it looked pretty neat. So it'll be cool to finally have something like that in my world. Are there any other blocks I need to get? Yes. So many. They're just trapped here forever. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. I thought they're supposed to float, but I guess some blocks sink and some blocks float. At least that's what I was told on stream. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I was told. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build a little bit of a fishing hut thingy. I'm not really sure what I'd call it. Um, I kind of want to build it like right over here. I want to make a diagonal hut. 
because I haven't made many, okay, diagonal would be like right there, and then we'll go back like, I need to get diagonal, okay. I don't build many diagonal structures just because they're kind of awkward to build, but especially if it's a hut, I feel like it'd be a lot easier. And they're honestly, I mean, they're pretty cool because not many people, not many people can say they've built like diagonally in Minecraft. Now I'm not sure where I'm going with this, so don't judge me thus far. Um, I just want to I want to mix up the materials because I feel like we've been using the same materials so much that it's getting a little boring. So we'll add a little bit of nether brick in the overworld. Maybe that'll help it look a little bit better. Um, and then I already have an idea. I kind of want to have fence off of it like this. Um, I don't want it to be like super sealed up or anything. In fact, I might remove most of the nether brick because that kind of leads it to be sealed. I wanted it to be a little bit more open, um, more like a hut. Not like a fishing house. Okay, there we go. And the reason I wanted to do that is so that I can place these brand new blocks that they added that look beautiful. Uh, these little lanterns. And I can put that on every side. Oh, I can just place them like that. Okay. Makes my job much easier. Okay, and then, see, I want to remove these for now, so hold on. So I want this to look absolutely, oh, that breaks so fast. That is so nice. I just, like, I just, like, didn't notice it for a second. I'm like, wait. I'm not in creative, that shouldn't break that fast. Um, okay, we don't have, okay, we need to do, before we do anything, we need to have a little chest in here, a little build chest. That way we can sort this inventory out. That's how I denote a temporary chest, I just put things like that. So we don't need all this sand and crap. Um, okay, so I wanted to plant a little bit of bamboo around it. I feel like it would, gosh, it's so loud. I wanted to plant a little bit of bamboo around it just to add a little bit of texture. Nothing crazy, and then we'll plant like a few things of sugarcane. Honestly, not that much. We already have a lot of sugarcane, so I'm not really worried about getting that. But a few pieces around it can't really hurt, and it'll make it look more texturous and better. Um, okay. Also, I wanted this because I want to make a few slabs. I want to make a few stairs. And then I think we should be good. Let's grab the whole stack there. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think what I'm going to do is this because I still like those nether bricks a whole lot. And then after that, see it's so weird building diagonal because like, you're not used to it. Uh, can we make walls out of these? Oh, you can. Okay. Oh, that's one of the, the, the new blocks they added, of course. So we'll put blocks like this and then we'll put the fence back. No, we won't put it right there. We'll put the fence on top of these and then maybe we'll do the hut off of those and then put like stairs in the corners here. Something like that. I'm not really sure. Again, like this is diagonal, so it's really weird for me because I don't I don't think anyone really builds diagonal that much. Um hmm. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this, because if it's gonna be a true hut, I don't want it to feel too closed off. That would be the last thing you want in a hut. You want a hut to feel open. Um, but that that that's 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 too weird. Hmm. You get to watch me struggle live with the build that that's okay I just want the fence you know what I think we should do it like this okay I can handle that I can handle repeating that pattern I think so like boom 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 okay yeah I could definitely repeat that I was worried because sometimes you'll build a pattern and you're not sure if you can repeat it but this see like this part needs to be open there needs to be like a hut area or we'll leave that side open how about that um, okay we'll put some more fence on here and then, well that doesn't connect, so that's just weird. Hmm. We're in a conundrum, guys. We're in a true conundrum. Um, I'm not sure what to do, because it is a diagonal building, which is just straight weird. Off the bat. So that makes it even harder. I want to grab cobblestone, but we don't have any more. Um, we'll just use oak planks. Or, sorry, jungle wood planks. I'm always used to using oak planks, not jungle. Uh, this should be a lot easier to work with. Okay, something like that. Just to make sure that we have like a little bit of a wall. I don't want it to be like too solid, but for the roof, I definitely want to use slabs. So I guess we'll get to building the actual roof. Um, okay, so I want the roof to be like this, starting out on all of them. So I'll get to every side and do that. That's usually how I build. I start, especially if it's a symmetrical build, I'll do like one little piece at a time. And then we'll do something like that for the roof. Yeah? Because I kind of want to leave those blocks open. Um, so I think that should be good. Okay. 
So I hope I get this right. No, I want to do it one back. Okay. And boom. And then boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And then we're going to leave. No, we won't leave this. So boom, boom, boom. I wanted to stick with that same pattern. Maybe have it come out a little bit in the front and then go down a little bit like this so that we can sort of have a fishing hut. I'm not, again, I'm not really sure um, how to do this 100%. Again, I'm only human, just a normal person, just building. I just build a lot more than normal people. Uh, we'll make a little bit of a dock, but like honestly, we don't really need one because it's so small, this lake is. Uh, we may have to make the lake a little bit bigger, thinking on it, uh, I'm not really sure. But we'll do a little fishing pier like this. Just something sort of small, just so it like makes it look like it's a fishing pier. We'll put like some, a few of these here. Uh, we'll put some lanterns on them. And uh, make sure everyone knows this is for fishing. Uh, we'll even put a little chair out here. Um, we'll put the chair like, put it right there. No, hmm, maybe a chair right there. Uh, if we build a chair though, that means we need to do a few things here. I know I have normal signs, but I want to use these. Ooh, <laughs> you see, it literally put those in my inventory, so it's like you should use these too. I'm like, okay. Um, so we have a little bit of a chair there, which is nice. Um, it's not good that it's made out of the same material as the ground, but eh, it's okay. We do have these trap doors though, so we can make something like that and make it look a little bit better. Um, obviously, this needs to be filled in with these uh, jungle slabs. So hopefully, this looks a little bit better. Again, I haven't even taken a thumbnail shot. I'm not even sure what I should take a thumbnail shot of. Uh, what floor material can we use? How does this look though? I want to look at it. Um, it definitely looks odd. I don't know. I don't even know if I like it. I may just burn the whole thing down. No, we're gonna do that. Um, I just want to make the top look better. I just again, I don't know what to put here. Like if I put fence, that's fine, but then it's not supported. Okay, if I do fence, I think I have a way to fix this. Like that. Yeah, that looks a whole lot better. See, there we go. We finally got it. You always gotta, you gotta just sort of take your builds in pieces. And this is not good because you can't even walk over here. There's no way to get to it. Um, okay, we'll put the fence, we'll put the fence, and then we'll fill it in. Just like that. Uh, so let me go over here and let me make this a little bit bigger to walk in. That way we know. Okay, not like that. Bad Neo. Bad block place. Okay. Something like that. But then that looks weird because it's like right in the middle. So we'll move it over. And we'll put it right here. We'll move this stuff. Wow, these things grow quick. Uh, we'll put the... Where's the, where are my lanterns? Oh, they're right there. Okay, we'll do that. That looks good. Um, let me go over here. Let me sleep. And I was going to grab something. I just don't remember what it was now. Oh, no. What did I need? Oh, floor material. That's what I was originally going to do. I was like, I don't even know if I like how it looks. Uh, we could use cobble, but we don't have any. Looks like we're going to use dark oak, guys. Dark Oak doesn't look bad though. I'm sorry if I sound like sad. I don't sound. I'm not sad or anything, guys. My voice is just like, going, and I'm having to try so hard to continue speaking. It's like I'm struggling, but not really. Hold on. Let me drink some water real quick. That's probably it. I haven't. I barely even. Yeah, barely sip my water. Hold on, guys. Okay, so I drank like half that water. My voice should probably sound better now. I think I just. I think I was dehydrated that whole time. I think legitimately, I feel a lot more energized now. Probably. The, Probably because I drank water. So I'm a complete dummy. I don't know why I didn't think like, oh, dude, your voice is starting to sound weird. That doesn't normally happen after this long. Like, you, you, you've you been streaming and you're doing just, what? Are you serious? Minecraft. What? I thought they fixed that. Okay, whatever. Really? Really? Okay, well, this game kind of upsets me because they... What kind of crap is that? The water just like, wait, do I need to break this? Will that fix it? No, maybe? Okay, you know what, whatever. We'll just fill this in all the way to the very bottom. That's just kind of sad though. I totally had thought that they fixed that and I was bragging about it and I was gonna add some cool stuff and show off the new feature, which isn't actually that new, but I was gonna show it off, Mojang, but look, you ruined it. You ruined it, okay. You screwed the pooch on this one. That's all I gotta say. You did not make it right. Uh, hopefully the shovels has enough uh, has enough stuff to finish this. I assume it will, but 
how many brick blocks? 22? Uh, we should get very close. And if not, we'll just use our hand, because our hand will work just as well. But yeah, we only got about 33 more in, 30 English, dude. We only have 33 more minutes until we're done with the episode. Um, I really have hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry we got we did a lot of stuff. We went and built that nether highway, went all the way to the stronghold. I do apologize that um, we never really got uh, to the end. I would have liked to have gotten to the end, but it's, again, it's just very like I thought that there was going to be ender uh, ender eyes in there, but apparently I was wrong. I may have looked at something the wrong way, and that that wasn't the case the entire time, but. Um, either way, I'm still a little bit upset about it, but I'm not like, I'm not like, actually like sad, but it's just like, dude, come on. Okay. Uh, I got some chests here. We'll just put a few chests in here. I don't really know what else you'd put in the fishing hut, except an area to fish. Uh, I put a stair in all these, didn't I? Yeah. I'll put a stair in all these, but not in one. And then we'll do, we'll do a little bit of a chest like out here. Something like that. Again, it's supposed to feel pretty open. Um, I do think that these blocks should be the dock material, though, for sure. Uh, we have some of these we can stack. No, we have some of these we can stack. There we go. I wanted to put the dock material out here a little bit more. Um, I know they're both wood, and normally I wouldn't do that. Uh, but it's not that bad. I wouldn't do that. Get it? Wood. And I'm surprised. If any of you have watched this whole thing, I'll be very surprised. This is so long. I don't think I could watch a video this long, but that's just me. And then again, I make videos, so I'm like, I'm always like, I don't know, I just wouldn't want to watch YouTube after doing this. Uh, okay, let's put stuff up, like dirt that we now have tons of. We'll just put up everything. I feel like this was all building materials for the hut. So we'll come back in here and we'll see this and be like, dude, what? What is in the hut, bruh? What's in the hut, dude, huh? Where's my steak? Don't need lanterns. Um, I was gonna grab the trap doors we had. I don't know if we have enough, so we'll just make a few more. Um, 26, that's a few. I thought I was about to make a ton more, but 26 actually is not that bad. I wanted to add them out here just to put a little bit more texture on the build. Oh yeah. What is go- are you shooting me? Was he- oh, he must have been like up somewhere and was shooting me. I feel like this would help add a lot of texture, but yeah, the grass is slowly growing. Um, we're getting there. As far as that goes, uh, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. We'll put it. We'll put a trapdoor there. But yeah, this fishing hut, you know, it doesn't look too bad. I actually think I think it turned out a lot better than how I was like I was getting kind of paranoid it was gonna get bad at some point, but it actually looks pretty cool. I mean, it's just a fishing hut, but I think now that we actually have a fishing hut, we should do some proper fishing from our fishing hut. Where's our fishing rod? What? Okay. I'm confused. Where do we put it? Hmm. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> I feel like I should. I may, We probably put it up in our tools chest. But we'll go check. Just to be... No, we didn't. No, I know where we put it. We put it in the enchanting chest. Ah, oh, we have 30 levels again. You know what? We're going to enchant a book. And hopefully we get something crazy. If we, I know you can't get mending, but hopefully when we fish we'll get it. But if we get like efficiency four on a book, that means we can add it to our pick. Our fishing rod isn't in here. Okay, well, you know what, whatever. I'll go find it. I'm sure it's somewhere. Unless, no. No, it can't be there. Protection three. Okay, whatever, that's okay. Uh, we'll add that to our diamond chest plate. Do we have any other protections in here? No, not really. Um, okay. We should add fortune one to our sword. No, that's not what we need. We need looting. Okay, we'll add these two. Protection three. That's actually very good that we have that on there. Um, I have a bad feeling about where my fishing rod is. Um, in the strong... No, it wouldn't be in the stronghold. I didn't put any chests there, dude. What are you even thinking? Uh, maybe it's... Gosh, I don't know. That's a that's a good question. I also don't know. I, I'm worried because I don't know what to take a screenshot of for this this uh, episode. I probably should have been at the straw. I should have done it at the stronghold. Um, but honestly, I could just teleport there and uh, just to get the screenshot if I wanted to. But I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure what people would click on. That's that's one of the most important things is the thumbnail. Uh, but you know, I, I really don't know. 
I guess we'll sort of figure it out. Um, I'm sure that people will watch no matter what. Yeah, where is my fishing rod? That's not good. What is this? What is this? Oh, I know where it is. I know where my fishing rod is. Is there anything in here? I hope not. That trap door is like eternally on fire. Shrine's still good, so we're all good. I think I know where it is. It's in that chest that's in the little farm hut. And yes, eventually I do plan on putting animals in those pens. I just haven't gotten to it yet. We're 27 episodes in, but we haven't gotten any animals in our hut, which is interesting. I feel like I should have done that, but I guarantee you it's in here. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking, but I put it in here. And we'll put the, we'll get these arrows out and this wood. We don't need that in here. Uh, okay. To our fishing hut, maybe we'll take the screenshot of the fishing hut. I'm not really sure with our like fishing rod out. I don't think people would really get what it is. I don't know, maybe. If you did like F5 like this, <laughs> doesn't really look like we're sitting. That looks more like we're sitting, but still not really. No, oh, it looks like I'm like crouched. Uh, I don't know how to get a good get a get a good thumbnail. I never did. I was always bad at the thumbnails, guys. Okay, whatever. Well, let's see if we get anything. Let's put this back in here. I'll worry about the thumbnail later. I'm not too concerned about it. Oh, a bottle of water. Thanks, ocean, for your crap. We don't need that. I just want to get something good. I want to get like, I don't know, mending. That would be nice. Or maybe even fortune 10. I don't think that's the thing. I don't think you get fortune 10. It's been a long day at the fishery. And we still, all we caught was a salmon and a water bottle. So maybe this fishing hole just has bad luck. But again, we've only fished twice. I'm hoping the third time is a little bit better. Here we go. Here's the mending. Raw cod. Are you kidding me? Are you codding me right now? That was bad. That was very bad. <sighs> Much better. Okay. I should have been drinking, I should have drank water the entire time. And wow, this bamboo really does go fast. I mean, it's already pretty high up there. I want to get a good screenshot of that. So maybe I'll go into creative real quick just to take the screenshot. You guys are always worried I'm going to be cheating, but I promise I won't be cheating. There's none of that. Um, oh, 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 here we go. Okay, you know what? Here, while I'm thinking about it, we'll go ahead and do it. You get to see the behind the scenes. We won't take too long. Um, let's turn that off. Um, we'll get something like this. And, uh, how do you get, how do you get a good, a good thumbnail shot for this? I'm not sure. Um, maybe like a little smaller FOV, something like this. I'm not really sure, but that looks good, actually. Decent. I'm not really sure what else I could take a screenshot of, aside from like the fact that we added so much dirt. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Uh, hopefully that thumbnail turns out all right. That's like the last thing I want to do is like figure out a good thumbnail shot after recording for three hours, but I'll bear. I'll bear, I promise. I don't really know what else to, do. I call it to like take a screenshot of. I guess that big nether um, path, maybe? I'm not, I'm not even sure. Maybe that's a good thumbnail? Question mark? I don't know. You never know what people want to see, that's the thing. People don't know what they want to see. Wow, the fishing rod's really weird. Why does why did they make the fishing line come out of like not the end of the fishing rod texture? Maybe it's a glitch. Oh, another raw cod. You know what? I'm done fishing for now. The fishing hut was a bust. Didn't get any good fishies. Uh, let's go over here to this nether portal. Let's go in here just to take a screenshot. Maybe you know do something. I'm not sure. We could try to go to that new part of the world, but I don't really think there's anything over there. I'm not even sure why I really made it. Oh my gosh. Well, they still hate me. Unfortunately, I set this off though. It's my fault. Okay, it's too loud. I set this off. I, I I will take full responsibility for the end of the treaty. I'm sorry, guys. I did not mean to upset you. Um. Okay, we'll put that in there. There's nothing really in here. There's a ton of redstone and coal. Why do I have this stuff here? That's my question. I know why I have that. But what else? Did I smelt anything? No, I smelt another brick. Oh wow. Do I have an iron door? Yes, I do. Do I have a lever? Yes, I do. Okay, here. We'll put this here. Well, okay, here. Okay, I want to put the lever here. That way when I leave, I can open it, and then when I come back, I shut it. 
because I'm never going to want to open it from the outside. We also put this here. We didn't need this. Uh, what we do have to do in preparation for the thumbnail shot is turn it up to like 36 chunks because I want to get a really good thumbnail shot. Um, how to do it? I'm not sure, but we'll sort of figure it out live on camera. We'll go back to creative. Again, it's just for the thumbnail. I don't want you guys to think we're cheating, but the nether looks absolutely crazy. But something like this could be very good. People are like, where does that path lead? I'm like, I don't know, dude. Where does it lead? Uh, I think that's perfect. Lines up like right there. Yeah, that's 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 gonna be the shot. Um, I was originally gonna call the episode "Traveling." Like, is that a pigman falling on our head? I think it is, but I don't, it's not aggroed on us. But yeah, that was a pig. We'll go right into survival, just so you guys know. There's no sh no. They were freak. They weren't. <laughs> they weren't mad at me anymore. But that's that's not fair that they didn't uh, get aggroed because they chose to go to, go to creative. So, hmm, hmm. Okay. Let's go back to the other world. I got an idea. I got an idea, guys. So we've got 409 gigabytes of footage. That's a lot of footage. Um, this wall, absolutely awesome. I love this wall, uh, but we don't have a way to get up and down it. I really wanted to build a grandor, grandor, a grandor house up there. Uh, someone made a really good point. That is the perfect spot for a place to like look over the entire village. And while this thing is super nice and stuff, um, it's not the best. And I remember I made this path up here, but I never really went in it again. Um, I made this path just to sort of get out of the house. I was going to make it into like some sort of pathway. But I don't remember how far away from our wall is it. I guess we can't really tell, can we? Um... Okay, so it's not that far. That's not a good way to get there, though. I want to make the entrance to the uh, actual house a little bit better. I want to make, like, probably a staircase or something, like a grand staircase. Probably out of jungle wood, because, let's be honest, we have the most of jungle wood. Um, we also have a ton of other stuff, but I think we have the most jungle wood. But I want to finish this. Um, but if it's going to be over three hours, guys, I got to I gotta stop. I, have, I can't record forever. Um, but I, I do my best to record for it. We'll make it out of jungle. We'll just do jungle stuff. I think I have a ton of jungle with the fishing hut. Uh, let's, let's go check. I think I put a ton in there. Uh, I think so. No? Yes. Okay. Now I want the fence. And then this stuff I'm gonna have to go put back in the house. God dang it. Walked all this way and we gotta walk all the way back to our house. Like 40 blocks away. Mm, so mad. Okay, let's put up this, this, this. Too lazy to organize. We're just throwing it in there. All whopper jawed. Let's go back up here. Maybe it's not the best time to design a brand new house. I'm not sure. But uh, maybe we'll get something good going and we'll finish it another day. Uh, let's sleep too, just so it's more uh, more bright, more brighter outside. That's English with my leg itches. Oh yeah, I got the itch down. Um, Hmm, I really hope my mic never changed volume. Sometimes it ran. Let me check that. Now I'm paranoid. Oh, I think we're good. I don't think it changed. Um, I don't know where I want the staircase to be, but I kind of want to make it like one of these deals. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to use fence under the stairs. Okay, wow. Thank you. I need more ender pearls. Oh, you're over here? Huh? You think you're so quick? Yeah, you ain't quick. Come on. Come on. I know you're, okay, you know what? Whatever. We're just going to ignore him. If he wants to come back, he can. Sometimes they just like, they just like don't come back. Okay, this is going to kind of... Okay, hold on. Because when I put fence under... I can't put... Oh, I have to jump. Okay. Because it's technically, you know, it's like a half block, I guess, or whatever. Uh, then we'll do the solid blocks here. And then we'll put a fence. And then we'll do more stairs. Now, hopefully we can get up to the top in this amount of distance. In this amount of distance. I'm not sure if we can. But we'll do our darndest to try to get up to the very top. Um, yeah, we, we will be able to. I can kind of guesstimate it at this point. After you've built so much, there's a point where you just kind of know. Um, and then we need to go up one more, and then we'll be perfect. Okay, one more, and then we can go over like this. Watch. Guarantee you, we'll be able to get up here. Um, I want to make this a little bit wider. I'll make it go like right here, and then we'll make this one a double wide staircase. And this will be able to get more than the top. We'll actually get up there a little bit too quick. Uh, but that's okay. There's never, it's never too quick, guys. Especially with stairs. Okay. That's good. Decent. 
Oh, I was one off. That's not good. That's not good. I said I would do it perfect and I didn't. So I'm, a, I'm just a big liar now. Um, up here, uh, hmm. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I may, may, I may want to actually add more dirt underground and make it like, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, we should probably make this too wide though. Looks a little weird if one staircase is one or one staircase is this way, and the other isn't. So we'll put the stairs under here. Oh no, we're gonna be in a sticky situation. I thought I had more scaffolding. Oh, I do have more scaffolding. Oh wait, but I can finish it right here, right? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, whatever. We'll go back up to the top and fix it like this. And then we can put it. Oh yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, let's, <laughs> I always fall like that. I keep forgetting I don't have that feather falling, that OP feather falling anymore. That stuff is awesome. Uh, I wanna add a fence under all of it. <coughs> Sorry about that, I know it's loud. That is not my intention, to make it super loud. Hopefully this staircase doesn't get in the way. Um, it kinda does, but we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work, guys. Always gonna make it work, don't worry. Um, how far is this up? Not that far. Not that far. See, I'm, I'm starting to get to the point where I can't talk anymore. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Oh, there we go. And then this is all fixed. Yes. No. A little bit of area isn't. And then we'll put all the fence under here. Hopefully it makes it look like somewhat supported. That was the goal I was going for. Uh, we may want to add like little supports down every once in a while. Otherwise, it's going to look totally unsupported, which is like the opposite of what I wanted. So we'll add like a support down right here. Where that will end up, I'm not sure. Okay, right here, that's fine. Um, and then we need a couple more supports just to make it look a little bit better. Something like right here. Uh, we need more fence, yeah. Cool, okay. Uh, this is a simple fix as far as this goes. All we have to do is add a few more pieces of cobble and then move this thing over. So I hope I have a little bit of cobble somewhere. I feel like I do. Just like a tad bit. We don't need like a whole ton. We can even use half slabs. I'm so desperate for cobblestone now. I'm using half slabs. What have we come to? Oh, the humanity. Oh. Okay. Something like that. And then we can just sort of fix that. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, that lamp is fine. You know, we gotta move it though. It's gonna bother me. We won't even get all the glowstone back when we break it now. Yeah, we only get three. Hold on. I need to grab the magical... Oh no, the glowstone is in here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, we'll break all this though. And add that back in a moment. So we're gonna need this, glowstone, this, and then potentially something else. I should have left those there though. I said those, but you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I should have left this and this. Iron doors and levers, we don't need those. Those are for the, those are for the nether, but we just left them here because we're lazy. Uh, let's go grab this low stone and then make these lanterns back we just have to move them a little bit I want to always make sure that they're on the edge of the path wherever that may be um, I feel like right here is good and then we went up three right e wait what how long has that one been like that has that been like that since I made them did I really put a fence on top of it how did I do that oh my goodness how did I fall off of that that's a better question how long did I have fence up there? It had to have been like the whole series because I haven't touched these since I made them. Or not the whole series, but in the series since I made them. That's funny. That's a, that's actually pretty funny. Okay. And then all around. Not right there. Right there. Cool. But yeah, I like this staircase. It's nice. It's tasteful. Um, the only thing is this bridge is like, I don't know, this hut thingy that we built, this overhang. We're going to have to decrease it a little bit. Maybe like that, and then, you know what, that's fine. That's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, this staircase looks honestly pretty cool. I like building staircases like that. I wish we had more variety of materials. Uh, it's the only like only like nitpicky thing I'd say about it. Um, other than that, it looks really good. Uh, so let's get up there, let's build a little bit of a base. Uh, let me check how much footage we need to record. 12 minutes, you say? I can do 12 minutes. That's all we have left. Um, this area was not flattened out. I can't do this right now. Uh Okay, that almost killed me. I should not do that. I need to put up all this stuff. All this stuff I don't need. Um, we'll put it in this chest because I'm lazy. Uh, we'll, we'll sort through it again in a bit. It's just like stuff that I know I don't need at the moment. Now for building, oh yeah, we have coal. I don't think I'm gonna need that stuff. I hope I don't need it. 
I don't know, I may need it. I wanted to build this out of, or at least some of it, out of oak wood planks, because everything else in this world is obviously made out of jungle wood, just because there's so much of it around. I mean, we have some spruce on those, but the majority is still jungle wood. So I'm not sure, oh, I need to make a shovel for this. I'm gonna make a diamond one, and we're gonna go enchant it, and we're gonna see what we get, because that's just the kind of people we are. That's just, or that's just kind of people we are. You're like, what, Neo, what are you? <laughs> yeah, just trying to make some of them diamond torches real quick. The new, uh, the new fangled diamond torches. Okay, let's go enchant this. Maybe we get something good, maybe we don't. It's not the end of the world if we don't. It really isn't. It's not that big of a deal. I hope we get something good, but you never know. You just never know. Um, okay. I'm getting kind of worried now because all of my, uh, thumbnails that have a screenshot efficiency two I'm breaking one that's perfect uh, all my thumbnails that have a screenshot of the uh, like the nether they just don't do well and I'm not sure why so I'm, I'm worried that if I do use that screenshot this three-hour movie is gonna get like no views and then I just like I spent like so much effort making it and like no one will watch it and that's like the last thing I want I don't want that I don't mind if I like don't get some views, but if I don't get like any views, that's just terrible. So again, I want this to be like grand door and the fact that it's just like, I don't know, I don't want it to be like square or anything. I would like the entrance to be right here in front of these staircases. So we'll put those there. Again, I'm just kind of making an outline. We're not gonna do a square because squares are too simple. Uh, maybe something like this, but I'm not sure like how to do it with the walls and stuff. I don't know, we'll sort of figure it out as we go. But we'll do something like this with the walls behind here. So again, I'm not sure what I'm doing exactly, but that's the beauty of Minecraft. You don't have to be sure about what you're doing. You're just sort of building and having fun. Okay, all these need to be like way higher than they are. So I'll just keep hurting myself and just making them a little bit bigger each time. Boom, 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 something like that. And then uh, I think we're gonna. Oh, I think we're gonna put oak between them. I'm not sure about that. But I feel like, okay, can I get to that one? No, stupid me. Oh my goodness. Two, three, four, four, four. But like the reason I get that way is like I spent so long recording this and I don't want it, I don't want like, uh, I don't know, I just don't want all this like to go to waste, if that makes sense. So I may not use that thumbnail. I'm not sure, maybe I'll make this look like it's in construction and we'll, uh, okay, I can get to this one. Really? Oh my god, <laughs> half a heart. You're funny, dude. Um, I may make this a little better. Um, I see, I can't even speak. I was gonna say, I'm gonna probably take the screenshot of this, like in the staircase leading up to it, but again, I'm not really sure what to take a screenshot of because we don't really have anything just yet. And it always seems like it's becoming night right when we don't need it to be. But I guess we only notice it when it's like bad. Because when it's not, it doesn't matter, so you wouldn't notice it. Um, so I want to clear out, obviously, all the materials uh, in between these, in between these logs like this, I guess. I don't really know. Again, like, I, I, I don't know. But we'll do this for a little bit, and uh, hopefully this all works out. We don't have that many logs left, and we also have to determine, like, where, like, as because we're building diagonally, we have to sort of determine what blocks um, to break and what blocks not to break. And uh, that's the hard part about building diagonal. It's not very easy just because of that one thing. Uh, we, oh, we don't need this. We don't even need this layer broken. This is the layer I want the house on. I'm absolutely crazy. Hold on. This is this this is the layer that I need to break. All this stuff. Cause I don't want it to be like super like. Sh I, want, I want I don't want the house to be like super like shallow, and have like two blocks of space. I want this to all sort of be underground. Something like that. I mean, I mean, the good majority of it will be underground, but not like all of it. Okay. Um, and I think it's one layer down. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll go ahead and break all this out. I know it's painstaking to watch, but I gotta record it, guys. I have to. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll make this look... Uh, we'll make it look like it's really in construction, just so I can take the thumbnail shot. Uh, with some scaffolding so I'll go and grab that real quick in a second once I'm done drilling all this out see I also have to decide um, at what point do I want 
Oh, see, it needs to be one deeper. I have to decide it. Oh, this is. Oh, wow. I still really haven't used this pickaxe. I have to decide, like, when it's a diagonal, where to drill, like, where I connect it. So I guess, like, that here. And I don't know. Something like this. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, when you build, there's so many ways to do things that you can't really do it wrong. I feel like that's a lot of people are really stressed when they build because they're building and they're afraid that if they make something wrong, like even if it's wrong, like dude, all you do is just break it, dude. It's not a big deal. Just break it and then build it back. I know it kind of sucks sometimes, but this house should be a lot better than all the other houses we have. That modern house is absolutely beautiful, uh, but we never really used it. We can, st we still can use it. It's not like it, we built it and we, we, now we can't like mess with it, but. Yeah, something like this. Okay, and then this just has to be broken because it's just stupid to leave it here. And then we'll add uh, some scaffolding. We'll, we'll put a little bit of the walls in here. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly how to go about the walls and everything. I kind of want to build them one block inwards just because that's going to look like the best. But again, I don't want to build. Yeah, so I want to have, wait, one block inward. Okay, so that means this has to be Okay, like this. Okay. So one block anywhere. I just kind of want these to sort of frame the house. Um, and then we'll just sort of build something like this. And then uh, we'll, we're just going to try to make it look like it's under construction. Um, so I am building the walls where they're going to be. But I'm building them in a way that they're not uh, finished. No, see this can't go that far out. It can bow out, but it can't bow out that far. Like that is fine. And then I want see I want right here to be the entrance. I want it to line up with the stairs though. So like this. What does that line up with the stairs? Do I have jungle stairs on me? I have one. Okay, we'll put one. But I want the entrance to sort of bow out like this. And uh, provide some sort of support. And we'll build this over like this. And then we'll just sort of build this up as well. And then this over here. Just like that. Again, I'm just trying to make it look like it's somewhat under construction. This looks too clean over here, though. So I'm going to literally break. I know it's funny. The things you do for the thumbnail shots. But it, the thumbnails are very important, guys. Honestly, they are one of the most important things um, than your videos. If you guys are going to ever start a channel, uh, your thumbnails, they have to be pristine. No! Dude, that's the one spot. How did the creeper even get in here, dude? It's so, it's not dark in here at all. Oh my god. Okay, let's go to our fishing hut because in our fishing hut we have the scaffolding as well as crafting. Um, scaffolding. And you probably need those and those. Okay. Hopefully that's enough to fix our mess. I don't know why a creeper even was in here. I don't know where they spawned. I genuinely do. Oh, I know. Hold on. When I'm not using the spawner, I really should light it up because I feel like that's where a lot of mobs come from and they ruin our day. So we'll go ahead and just fill this in with torches just to ensure we don't have any random spawns. Um, okay, so did it, did it even break the fence? I don't think it did. Oh, it broke just very minimally. It broke very minimal things. Uh, mainly just this fence right here. And that's not that hard to replace. Okay, so the damage is not as bad as I thought. I thought I was going to have to like, reconstruct this thing. It was going to be a surgery to get it all back together, but I think that's even, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go up in here. Uh, let's do a few things. Let's put a stair here. Uh, let's start just putting scaffolding just in the front. Okay, that's not how you place it. And then you have to go up to the top, and it's so weird. You, like, place it like that. Okay, and then we'll go over here. Uh, we'll do more. Like, how do I go up? Okay go up like this and I want to go over okay and I go over no that went up how do I go over something like that okay this scaffolding is too oh this scaffolding is too high we don't need it up all the way over here uh, like that is fine but for now again I'm just doing this to make it look good for like a thumbnail uh, I doubt the house will be left like this but you know you never know this is me. Sometimes I start projects and I end up not finishing them. A bad habit of mine. Uh, I don't like to do that, especially on like a survival world for like a Minecraft thing, like like a like a series. So that probably won't happen here. I just meant more in like my creative worlds. 
Okay, we don't have any more scaffolding, but I think that's okay. Something like that. And then we'll just put a few torches in it. And then let me check if we're at three hours. I'm pretty sure we're over three hours. So let me just check real quick. Two hours and 58 minutes. So I didn't realize, but it's already 4 p.m. Uh, depending on how long this takes to render, you guys may not see it until the 22nd. And I do apologize for that. Um, let me do game mode creative. I think we already have it in here. Wait. Yeah, just for the thumbnail. Again, guys. Um, we'll go ahead and set it to daytime set. We'll do 4,000. That's fine. I'd love to get shaders on and take the, the thumbnail, but I, I feel like if I do that, that's misleading because I don't like to take a thumbnail shot with shaders on and then you like you get in the actual game and it's like, haha, nope, we're playing with default lighting because it makes it look a whole lot more beautiful, I think. Um, it is just too dark during the day. But I feel like this makes for an excellent thumbnail screenshot. So we'll, we'll do something like this. Um, oh, yeah. See what I mean with the scaffolding? I told you guys it would look beautiful. So we'll do it like right there, I think, is where it should be. Something like this. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's perfect like that. And then, yeah, because maybe a little further over. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll take a bunch of iterations and then I'll sort of mess with it later. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this three hour movie, please let me know in the comment section below. Please let me know by leaving it a like. If you've watched until this point, you are an absolute trooper. How you have made it this far, I am unsure. But I am very appreciative for you watching this entire thing. It was a lot to watch, I know. It was definitely a, a, definitely a journey. I went to the stronghold, uh, went like 5,000 blocks away. See what I mean? It just looks like, eh. I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look bad or anything. Look how many screenshots I took. So we'll have fun messing with those. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the episode and you want to see more episodes like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not uploaded, or not uploaded, not subscribed. Uh, we'll go back into survival. Just because we're not cheaters, we're just doing it for the thumbnail. Uh, yeah, like, where'd that creeper go? You know, I'm running away. I, I don't want to be here somehow. Oh, I know where the creeper came from. I know where the creeper came from. Good. No, come into the water. Come into the water. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with you unless you're in the water, dude. I know where he came from, though. And here. Right? Had to have been. Right? I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really do genuinely hope you guys enjoyed this whole series. Uh, more will be coming out. Don't worry about that. We're not going to stop the series after this. Uh, definitely not done. We need to get to the end. Uh, obviously build this village out more. Uh, but yeah, I thank you guys to all of you who watch this entire thing. You are absolute troopers. Thank you so much for all your support on the channel. You're absolutely amazing people. Uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the live stream tonight. Uh, I say tonight, but it's like the 21st, so it's probably going to be tomorrow when this is uploaded. But I'll catch you guys on a live stream at some point, I'm sure. Uh, I will be on a good bit of live streaming now. They seem to be going very well. People enjoy them, so and they're fun to do. Fun to talk with people and hang out with friends in the Discord and just sort of talk. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in episode 28. Hope you enjoyed three hours. Bye.